Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Yes, indeed. Hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, as you can see, I've been filling out a few recipes in the bot block. I also put a couple of robo ports over here so that we can auto deconstruct most of this stuff. Um, added a few storage chests in the middle. Although most things are going to have a specific place that they go to. Um, like, for example, all of these RoboPorts. Um, ro RoboPort... Uh, what are they stacked to? 10? 400's kind of crazy, actually. Let's make this, like, 40. And here we can fit 480. Limit to 40. Alright, so these get put here. You went live in time incoming? Uh, yes indeed. But I usually? Oh hey, King Fnub. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cyclomatic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Why have I got a request for 50 RoboPods? There we go. Incoming, indeed. Nice way to start the stream, thank you very much. Alright, so what else were we doing? Oh, I did a little bit of offline work, and I have, or at least I think I have, a working red and blue circuit build right here. Let's get started with that. Um, one thing I really like with the... Well, maybe it's the same as Tier 3 modules in vanilla, but uh, I notice with Tier 3 modules in Space Exploration, I keep managing to get perfect ratios with how much can fit on a belt. Bonk. Am I muted? No. Are we good? Um, so that's cool. I'll ask for a bit more belt. We are good. Just a random redeem. No worries. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to add the applause to the redeems. Um... I only just sort of had a couple of days off of working a lot. Still kind of catching my breath, but quite soon I'm going to be putting a lot more time into things like that. Probably within the next couple of days. Soon TM, yeah. Well, I actually have at least six days off work in a row, so I'll actually be able to do all the things that I've been putting off. And I don't just mean stream things. Um, oh yeah, that's correct. I should probably let the Bots finish doing what they're doing before I run around, like, randomly. Some more bots might be good. Gonna run out of energy a bit more quickly, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, we've got... don't know if you could really see it. How many of these do we have? Uh, 40. And this is beaconed up and powered. We've got four blue belts of green circuits that feed into these blue circuits right here. 
might soon is make a list, keep doing what I've been doing, and tell myself how stupid I am next time I remember I should have done said task. Yes. Um, I actually realized after building this that, well, okay, for a time I was having, uh, instead of this great big monstrosity to put the green circuits and plastic on halves of the belt, uh, what I was doing was green circuits here, uh, plastic here, but it wasn't really keeping up with this whole system, but come to realize what I could have done is done that, but mirrored it on the other side of the train tracks. Uh, but this'll do. We've got some space left over anyway. Um, so this is actually, uh, what are we breaking? Nothing really? Okay, cool. Uh, this whole section is actually, I believe it's 90 green circuits per second, same for plastic. Um, how many have we got? 120. Yep. Uh, so two full blue belts each of these two resources. There's just enough coming in from the train stations to keep that up. Or that's that's our bottleneck, rather. Um, I actually had to use a 4 to 8 splitter, which I trimmed a little bit off of the end, uh, in order to get a throughput unlimited version instead of the 4 to 5. Uh, because some of the belts, or one of the belts, wasn't quite getting saturated. Are you me, Cyclo? We are all... King Fnook? A Maki? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just Swiss King Fnook. What? A I am Sa? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's go get some more stuff, shall we? And away we go. More power, please. Much more convenient since I moved these batteries so that there's only four spots that the RTGs can fit. I'm envious of Hex's nuke emote, so clean. Oh, thank you. Uh, apparently, I'm requesting too many things. We could probably stand to back down on some of these chests. Um, maybe some extra ones while we're building this. Regular chests. Jeswi. I am. King Fnook equals King Fnub. Burning his eyebrows off with atomic weapons. <laughs> okay. A evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What can I say? I like nukes. I think most of us do in Factorio. I only don't like the um, scorch marks they leave behind. And trying to outrun them. Oh, this is the old... Omni Smelter. That's why it's having some troubles. I didn't uh, clear those out in my off-stream time. I've been playing a bit more satisfactory. It's very relaxing, like a Zen Garden or something. I may have gotten a little bit carried away uh, putting some things together to build oil refineries and processing. 
and kind of built an entire base in that corner of the map. As I realize, I just need one more thing, one more thing, and oh, there's iron here, oh, there's copper here, oh, there's limestone here. Okay, I'm off to bed. Have fun. Take care, Cyclomatic. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good sleep. I should probably add some artillery to this wall. See you in five hours, Cyclo. Alrighty then. Wait, five hours? I hope you're getting more sleep than that. Unless you're one of those rare people who literally doesn't need as much. Um, I need to request a lot more underground felt for now. I'm trying to have T-Hex usher me into slumberland. I hope I can accommodate. Um, are we ready to... Well, we don't have to worry about the output. Input is set up. We can turn this on. I did remember this time to switch off the constant combinators for the input stations for LTN. Once this is actually built, we can go ahead and allow that to be connected. And this one looks like it's already done. And now that we're not blocked by a lack of track or something as well, here comes our train with plastic. Hey, they're using the new uh, depot. I love to see it. I am quite liking what I've seen so far with these depots. Uh, it seems the trains really can enter and leave much more easily because each of them has two options. Um, I might make one or two more of these. And How many trains do I have? Let's see. Um, is it... Train overview... 66 trains. That's more than I was expecting. Um, each of these can do... I think it's 18. Yeah, 18 depot stops. Uh, three of these should be able to handle all of the long cargo wagons quite easily. And fluid wagons we want to keep here. Maybe I'll take this design and adapt it to the big square um, sooner or later. Uh, small depot might be a good idea to do as well, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Surely enough, this is... Uh... 25 trains. When did I get so many? Well, whatever the case. I could probably copy this one over here. And it doesn't matter that the corner... Uh, is covered in water. We'll still have three entrances and exits. Although... The one entrance and exit here is going to have more traffic and it's in the middle of all this stuff. Maybe I should get rid of the old uranium system here. This is all ready to be deconstructed. So is this. Uh, actually, all of it is. I'll need to convert this um, iron plate train station into a pickup and or 
It's actually not that much there. I should turn it into a trash pickup. How is our uranium system doing? Actually very well. We've got both 238 and 235 coming down here. That's very good. What's the plan today? Um, well, the main thing I want to do is get this uh, red and blue circuit build finished. That's not going to take too long. Um, I may add one or two more intermediate products um, to be built, what well, to be supplied by train to come over here. But really, I want to get this sorted out and head back into space. Maybe do a couple more things on the ground before we do that. Let's go back for more uh, modules. And hit this thing. Klaus Wayne, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should I pick up a few more modules, perhaps? Oh, that's a lot. Fantastic. Alright, let's go. That's not as many as I thought I would be picking up. Have you looked into the new materials? They can cut your production costs way down on these circuit boards. Uh, not just yet. Among other things. Um... That's right, now that I remember, on the last stream we were getting up... Oh, is it loaded? Not yet. Okay. Uh, we were getting ourselves ready to go to... Uh, Tolubai. There's infinite uranium here. Also, a bunch of biters that are spreading out. Since we scanned the whole place, but... Not so many that it won't be difficult to clear them out. Uh, there are biter medias though, so that might be part of the reason why there's more biters here already. Um, but yeah, we're filling a rocket up to head over there. Um, do we have the media defense in here yet? None at all. Okay. I'm still waiting on accumulators of all things. Accumulators are waiting on batteries. Batteries are waiting on copper plate. Um, that seems like a bad sign. I think I need to bump up the priority for this one. I'm pretty sure we're not suffering a copper plate storage uh, shortage. Over here we've got 18,000. That's a train load at least. 113,000 copper plate here. So why... How on earth did this get empty? Is it disabled somehow? Max trains 2... Asking for 100k copper. What's this doing? It's been ages since I... Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's fine. How on earth did we stop getting copper plate delivered here? I haven't touched it in forever. There's copper plate here. It's not even got a priority. Dark sky full of stars. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, while I try to figure this out, let's get our bots to build some things. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have copper plate in storage as well. Uh, we do not. Okay, so we don't have that much. Are we still doing the infinite production? Yes. That's good. This one looks fine as well. As long as you can see the sushi belts moving and not completely chockers, you know it's working. Uh, do we have another copper mine? Copper ore... Oh. I'm surprised I never reconnected this. I disconnected it because I was still figuring out how I was going to prevent this from going straight into the trash. So that'll help at least. There's also another copper mine over here we haven't tapped. I think there was another one. Well, there's this one. This one looks full. It, it is literally full. Okay. Our smelters have copper then? What are you doing? Our smelters do have copper. Wait, are all of these outputs full? They actually are. Except for steel, perhaps? Nope, even steel is full. This Omni smelter has finished its work, but there's no copper plate up here. How Evening tea hacks. Any possible way to watch past live streams older than two weeks ago or nah? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, sorry, uh Aheo Soru. Um oh, oh hi you sorry. Uh I didn't start posting them to YouTube until relatively recently. How goes the inanity of SE? Yeah, pretty good I guess. Uh, we're just dealing with another mystery of LTN. Um, we've got... At, we've got hundreds of thousands of copper plate in the LTN system. Oh. What? Well, no wonder that one finished smelting. There's a wire missing. Well, probably not LTN's problem. Okay, so let me remember where this goes. Um, it's this one. I don't know how these wires got removed. But that should be all it takes... Can I line this up? There we go. And this one as well. This one seems to be working. It is. The wires are already connected. So it was just these three, right? I'm still not seeing a delivery schedule to pick this up. We are outputting 113k... There's no red wire on this either. What happened? Well, this will probably solve our copper problem. That's over 200... And, that's like 225,000 copper plate that's available for pickup over here. Yeah, that'll do it. Maybe you copied the station before the wire was placed? Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, those were the only wires that were missing. The wires connecting to the logistic train stop input, which is a bit odd. I think I've seen some stuff kind of like that when I've been building things in editor, uh, editor extensions. But now what? 
Oh, the red wire from this thing isn't connected either. Okay. I guess that makes sense. If, so basically all of the combinators and stuff uh, from the logistic train stop pieces weren't connected. Let's make it a little bit easier to line up this time. And just to be doubly sure, we'll copy it down here, even though I think that's working fine. There we go. Is LTN a mod magic thing, or just a particular way to wire things? Uh, LTN gives you these train stops and a bunch of signals, um, which will automatically schedule uh, pickups and drop-offs of resources. So you have trains, instead of having a set schedule, They'll go back to the depot, um, and once five seconds of inactivity passes, they are waiting to be issued a schedule. Once they are issued a schedule, they get given a temporary stop, which is exactly at the train station they need to go to. This is to remove ambiguity from identical station names, I believe. Uh, the next stop, zero seconds later, is exactly where this train stop is. Um, depending on your mod settings, they may have wait condition inactivity or 120 seconds as well as this, but, um, they'll go to the pickup and then same thing, go to the drop off. Um, and then they'll head back to the depot. Once they get back to the depot, their schedule will get reset. So it's a macro mod, set and forget, preferably. Yeah. The, it's very powerful. And easy to mess up. And also, some of the default settings I would strongly recommend changing, because they will cause problems um, that are not really your fault, especially as someone is just learning the mod. Um, like, for example... Uh, one of the settings, the first one that comes to mind anyway, finish loading uh, adds two seconds of inactivity to inserters or uh, to the train stop, so inserters or pumps will keep doing their thing. Um, default request or provide threshold is only a thousand, so you'll end up getting trains scheduled to pick up a relatively small amount of stuff, and they'll keep getting loaded until they're full. They'll also just give up at a station after two minutes. And then they'll end up going back to the depot full of items. Um, the depot, if they're in the depot and five seconds has passed, LTN just basically assumes the train is empty. So then you've got a train heading to the next station with items in it that aren't supposed to be there. Uh, suffice to say, this can cause problems. On the other hand, uh, I really love LTN. It's There's a lot that you can do with it that you can't do with vanilla, including, for example, uh, here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stations within this space, um, and that includes pickup stations that are for two different resources. Uh, there's no way with vanilla to read what the train is supposed to be picking up. Uh, at least not without putting an item in it, I think, uh, before you get there. Here we've got a station that is both a pickup and a drop-off, depending on what train is coming here at the time. Um, up here we've got, uh, I believe it's four different drop-offs for each station. So we're dropping off uh, 16 different items up here 
at two train stops. Trains are such a luxury for a long time for me. Yeah, they're great. They have incredible throughput. Save it in the blueprint for next time? Oh yeah, good point. If you made one, that is. I think I did. It does need an update. And I need a bit more blue belt again. I don't suppose we actually are making blue belt here yet. No, we're missing something. May as well get all of this other stuff dropped off first, though. Come to think of it, I think I dropped off a bunch of productivity modules up here. Although I don't see them. Alright. Looks like all we're missing is belt, and then this build is finished. Why have we not got plastic here yet? Oh, we do. Fantastic. What's up, Hacks? How's the factory? A hey, Costco Taquitos. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, factory's going pretty well, I think. We're just adding a red and blue circuit block to the train network. Um, and then we'll be able to... Honestly, I don't even remember why we were doing that. Probably just because... Well, for one thing, in the main bus base, uh, red circuit production can't really keep up anymore. Same for blues. Especially if we're putting them into uh, cargo rockets. Seems like we're ready to head back. Let's grab some more um, blue belt this time, actually. No, I'm pretty sure 500 is more than we need. Let's not risk it. I don't want to make another trip. All of it, please. Excellent username. Yes, indeed. Did I miss anything in chat? Not that I can see. Whoop, where am I going? I may as well add this to the map as well. Um, blue circuit. And a red circuit. And I don't remember if I've been doing this on this playthrough. I don't think I have. This one's green. And here we have LDS. And heat shielding. You may have inspired me to begin playing Factorio again. Nice. Um, seems I have lost some of my bots. Oh dear. Okay, why don't you guys take a break? And I'll just deal with the bots that I've got here. Uh, now you are stuck. I thought they would go back to the nearest robo network. Maybe they will after a little while. If they don't, I'll go pick them up. Alright, there's our green circuits coming through. And here's our combinatorless uh, balanced unloader. Well, it's balanced, assuming that this is balanced to begin with. Um, it's very simple. Just read the contents of the hands of the inserters, and also a bit of belt, perhaps. Everything has to equal zero for an inserter to do its thing. And 
I do wish I could come up with something equivalent, but for balanced loading, but I don't think it's possible. Looks like we'll be able to finish this build this time. Are we missing a long arm? Possibly. And here comes the plastic. It is actually important to have a lane balancer for this. If this is going to be 90 items per second uh, with this unloader, uh, you end up with one side taking a little longer to unload than the other side. And that'll actually cause gaps if you don't have a lane balancer. All right, so now we're just missing the copper for some reason. Uh, probably because I bumped up the priority on this one because it ended up completely empty and it is our main bus base. Um, it really is a mess, the rail system up here. I do hope I'll be able to just get away from that main bus base entirely eventually. Okay. Uh, so once we get copper here, that'll be copper wire, red circuits. Uh, the rate of production when this is working is more than enough to saturate a blue belt going to the uh, blue circuit machines. They're actually only asking for 18 per second anyway. Oh, and I completely forgot to turn this around. There we go. Uh, LA Ox, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And what should we be doing next? Before I forget, I will... Remove the extra priority on this thing. We do have an automatic dynamic priority thing over here. I'm still... I still haven't gotten around to doing experiments with LTN to see if uh, this part is totally unnecessary. It wouldn't surprise me. So what this does is uh, 7 minus the number of train loads um, of copper plate that we've got here is our request priority. The higher it is, the more trains that'll be sent this way. Or the higher priority it is, basically. Okay. Uh, what's next? Should we go have a look at our rocket to go to the new planet? Seems good to me. Oh, I should also... Uh, I actually have already made sure the uranium situation is good, so that's fine. I should deconstruct the old one. All right, what are we waiting for here? Uranium fuel cells. I don't know that we're having those delivered here. I might just go pick these up this time. Er, triple one. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab it from the old uranium base. And while I'm at it, why don't we deconstruct this stuff? Looks like the bots are still stuck. True. We'll do that on the way back as well. 
In fact, maybe I should grab them now since we're doing all this deconstructing. Okay. I don't know why I'm seeing a change in... but No, don't rebuild that. We're not using that. I don't know why I'm seeing a change in behavior. Um, up to a point, whenever I would remove my roboports while I had bots in flight, they would just go back to the nearest um, roboport network, which is what I had in mind this time, obviously. Oh, now they're landing on the ground. Um, this goes here. Look at how small they are on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hit undo a lot of times to fix this. So instead of doing that, I will just throw the blueprint down again. Is that all of them? Not quite. Where is this bot? Oh, sneaky. I think that's all of them. And here we go. Roboport's on. And fixed. Alright, RoboPort's off because we don't want to rebuild this stuff. Uh, where were we going? Oh, over here. Let's just double check that's not actually an emergency. Are there no repair packs here? Um... That's something that happened to one of the other walls earlier. What's your problem? Oh, not this again. Go back to the depot, please. And I should probably just remove that. Um, I've said it before, but... It really is a shame I can't set it so that the depot schedules for the trains... Um, LTN just resets them to five seconds of inactivity, and there's no way for me to change that, apparently. What I'd like to do instead... Um, is set it up so that the train has to be empty before it gets given a schedule. That would solve a lot of problems. Okay, while we're here, let's do uh, this. And this. And we'll turn this into a trash stop. Enable disable. Anything greater than zero. Trash pickup. And there should be a train heading down this way pretty soon. Um, don't need the combinator on these anymore. In fact, let's just make sure we remove the variable. Okay. So that'll, that'll get cleared out on its own. My inventory really is quite full. I'll take a little bit more uranium fuel back. Well, let's go.
make sure personal logistics are turned on. And fuel is on the way. I should add a display to this thing. Oh, I did. Okay, it's half full. Fantastic. Although I don't know how full it is compared to all of the requests that we've sent. Let's see. We're still looking for one uranium fuel cell, 12 turrets, 500 ammo for the anti-media stuff, 100 rocket fuel, 100 repair packs, uh, 20 stacked cargo rocket things, uh, cargo rocket sections, and come to think of it, I should ask for one more space capsule. If we haven't already. It is on the way. Don't think I can see the bot that's bringing it. There it is. And now we're onto cargo rocket sections. Okay. Can I calm down a bit on the requests? What else was I building? I think we're done building for the moment. And I was going to deconstruct this stuff. I should probably... Oh, here we go. Don't need that many requests for this stuff. Most of the time. Make this a hundred, actually. How's our military front looking? Very good, actually. Oh, I wanted to see why repair packs weren't coming down here. Uh, we're definitely requesting them. Request threshold is one. And we're asking for 200 repair packs. So... Are we not making repair packs fast enough? No, I think we've got quite a lot of repair packs here, actually. Let's connect this to the substation so we can see what's in it. 605 repair packs. Oh, it's because this train is stuck. What's it waiting for? I've seen you played around with Hell mod earlier. I saw a few VODs yesterday. It seems to be very useful for planning ahead when it comes to ratios of production chains and changing recipes. Yes, indeed. I haven't played around with it that much, but it seems quite good to me. We're not making uranium rounds fast enough. Um, how about you have some of mine? How many are you asking for? 104. Okay. I should probably make a series of these stops so that we don't have the whole thing stopped because of one train. Also removes a bottleneck. Um, but we're not doing that because we don't have uranium-238 up here. We don't have uranium-238 because I don't know why. 4K. Oh, that's right. I don't know if I ever set it up so that... 
No, I think I did. I think I did set it up so that with the new uranium stop. Um, we can do small trains. I lied. Okay. Minimum three. That should create a request quite soon. Unless there isn't 4,000. Oh, uh, provide stack threshold 50, I guess. Maybe I could make separate... I, I still haven't come up with a good way to have a station that can feed trains of different sizes. Why is it still not scheduling? Provide stack threshold fifth. Oh, this should be 40. I think. And schedule? No? But yeah, I'm thinking, honestly, if we're going to do it this way, I might have to just have, like, storage here, and then it just feeds straight onto a belt. Or, storage here feeds onto a belt and chests, but we very much limit how much we put in the chests. Um... I'd also like to speed things up here so that the way I've got it set up is it just does a balanced load of each resource with uh, two types of resource using the filter inserter blacklist. And then we say if uranium-235 is less than 238, don't pick up 238 and vice versa so that they get half a chest each. But because we're so much slower on uh, 235, even though as far as 235 goes, we are producing it quite quickly. Um, 72 per second? That doesn't seem right. This is allegedly 72... Huh? I don't think rate calculator is giving us the correct numbers from this. Um, so crafting speed is 2.2. .2. This normally takes one minute to make one uranium-235. Uh, so let's say 2.2 .2 uranium-235 per minute. This is saying 1.5 per second. That is definitely wrong. If it's cover X, 42 are produced and 40 go back in. Yeah. Well, oh, it's 41 and 40. Um, but I thought, last time I checked, um, I was pretty sure rate calculator actually took that into account. 72 produced per second, 70 consumed. Yeah. It certainly looks like about two per... Not even two per second. Okay, but the point is... Uh, I might have a way to... Well, no, that doesn't work. If this worked via whitelist, I would be able to just add a constant combinator connecting to the red wire for each of these and put like a negative number to set a limit for each type of uranium. Um, but because it's a positive number is a blacklist, that's not really going to work. We could perhaps 
I think I'm overthinking this. There's a there's a much, much simpler solution. Well, I know I'm overthinking it. But sometimes you can come up with a really cool solution. Sometimes not as much. Uh, so we're just going to do... That's not right. I need to flip this instead of... I need the one on the left to be the green wire. That's right, I think. Green wire, green wire. That should be fine. Uh, red wire, green wire, and give it some power. Let's line it up with... no, wait. Let's fix the belt first. And we're going to need a filtered splitter. Put the 235 up the top, actually. Actually, does it even matter if... Yeah, no, the 238 would eventually block the 235 if I did it like that. Okay. This goes down here. And then just a regular old uh, balanced loader. Don't need this stuff anymore. Um, these can be regular fast inserters. I should have considered that I'm going to have to take all of the 235 out of here, but that's not going to be too difficult. Especially when it's auto-trashing. Okay. Net rate column? Uh, let me see. Net rate. Oh, net rate. There it is. I never noticed that. 0 0.425 per second. Okay, what is our net rate for all of this? 2.1 per second. That sounds about right, perhaps. Although it looks a bit more sporadic than that. just eyeballing it. Hey you, how's the progress on a space science? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, we've got two of the space sciences fully automated, albeit a bit slow. Uh, 65 products finished from the astronomical science packs. We don't have the materials we need for material science pack just yet. Um, I mean, we've been to the planet where we can get it from, at least a finite supply. But uh, that little outpost is going to need some fixing. Uh, 1438. Oh, what is happening here? Um, uh oh. There's. Oh. I. I can fix that. Yeah, there's nowhere for this fluid to go, so the junk cards have clogged everything up over here. As soon as a bot brings that over, we should see this machine operational again. And away we go. I don't think anything else is broken. It's 
probably going to sort itself out. Except we're having trouble finding room on the belt. There we go. This mixed box is bonkers. Uh, thank you, I think. Also, Tura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the tip. If it's Coverex, uh, free coffee. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, not recurrent. Welcome to you also. Okay, so let's copy this. Oh, wait. Settings are everything less than or equal to zero. Copy that. Copy that. And copy that. And then that's it. All right, let's get rid of this again. I guess it doesn't really matter if I just drop these into one chest for the moment. I only need to do the rebalance the last time. I kind of like the pattern of alternating resources that this does, though. It would have been a good system as long as 235 wasn't so much slower. Or it doesn't really matter that it's slow, uh, it's just that it's too slow. Okay. I just went against my own rule, that's fine. And one more. Connect this to LTM, so it knows we've got Uranium-238. And then I can't quite reach across there with a substation, unfortunately. Maybe it would be neater to do medium poles this time. Is this all powered? Yeah, it is. Except then we have to go down here. It's probably fine. Except for that part. Okay. So, how much 238 have we got here? Uh, 16,000. Provide threshold is 40 stacks. Minimum train length is 3. Okay. And we've got 16k. That's enough for a full train. So, why... Um... You can stop for now. Why are we not getting a small train delivering this stuff. Oh, I know why. Uh, request threshold. Request stack threshold 40. There was a change that I made to the settings a while ago that basically made the defaults for the provide and stack thresholds uh, set up so that they would never work. So I have to manually set these thresholds. Yesterday I was sitting in a Helmod calculator for like six hours just to understand how space sciences work and what to do. Yeah, that's kind of why I made the sushi belt system for, science, uh, for space science to start with. Um, especially after building this 
main boss base and ending up with regrets of like, why didn't I put, you know, concrete, heat shielding, something else on the main bus? Um, a sushi system is actually pretty great if you don't know what the production chain is going to look like. It will be slow, of course. Um, but I'm totally okay with that for a first playthrough. Why not bots? Eh, bots are kind of... They don't have the same challenge. What? Oh, no. Um, I think I see the problem here. I was considering a new design for these um, precise loaders, whereby instead of setting the stack threshold, uh, the stack size for most of these, we just set them to the maximum f uh, all the time for the majority of inserters. And then for the exception, um, once the amount of stuff that we're trying to insert into the train drops below a certain threshold, we just set this to stack size 1 and uh, don't bother enabling or disabling it. Um, what I think has happened here is... Uh, there wasn't enough excess to make sure that we would insert it all. Um, 5,000? I don't think it matters. Actually, yeah. 50. Okay, the next one should work. Uh, when we do a precise loader like this, unless you've got a giant container, you need to make sure that there's enough that this specific container is going to have extra to put in. That looks kind of cool. IMO, you have it way more complicated? Yeah. So, the design that I had in mind, I'll just build it right here. So basically, let's say we're just doing one cargo wagon. Uh, you would have a bunch of inserters. Uh, sell Shell Seashore. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello indeed. Dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Um, so basically what I had in mind is couple of combinators, you do the math to figure out how much more stuff you want to put into the train. Let's just pretend that constant combinator uh, has that result. Um, if you are only loading one type of resource, you can do it very simply with something like uh, iron plate greater than... Uh, what's the maximum... Stack size is 12 times 6, 72. Let's be safe and say if iron plate is greater than 80, uh, we can enter these at full speed. And we'll set stack size. Oh, don't bother setting stack size on those ones. So those are just full stack size. Uh, this one set stack size, probably no enable, disable, and just have something like, uh, if iron plate is greater than 80, output s times 12, Let's just go S times 12, output S. And 
then so if we've got uh like just over 80 iron plate left to go all of these will be enabled this one will have a full stack size as soon as we drop below some number uh the stack size for all of these get disabled um, as you can see from the red lights there. And this one is the only one that's still enabled. Its stack size drops to 1. Uh, the system that I've been using is a lot faster because it keeps the stack size at the highest possible number to insert the remainder exactly. But the reason that this one down here fell over, as I said, where is it? Here. Um, you'd need to make sure there's extra in the chest that puts the remainder in before the train arrives. In any case, we've now got ammo being produced again. Um, I just realized I could speed this up a bit more. Uh, if I just do something with these belts... And this one, I don't know where that's going to go, but figure it out. There we go. I don't think that changed, actually, now that I look at it. Just likes complication? Yeah. Um... Yeah, if you, if you build things a bit more complicated than they need to be, uh, sure, they'll break sometimes, but you'll learn as well. Why so complicated? I thought stations can output train contents. They can. Uh, in fact, it is required for that circuit down there. Uh, let me find an example. So here we're reading the train contents, uh, multiplying that by negative one to subtract it from what the train is asking for. Uh, from that number, well, we also need to remove these signals that LTN gives us from the logistic train stop output. Uh, everything that, so we have a negative a million for all of those signals, each greater than zero, pass it through here. And then we pick one of those signals at a time. Uh, then we divide by six and pass through the filter that the filter inserters need, and S for stack size. Um, we also get the remainder of that, and send it to just one of these inserters. All this math my head hurts lol, sorry. Um, but basically, there's a few steps to it, but all we're doing is getting uh, how many logistic bots have we got here? 112. So currently we're getting five logistic bots, sending it to these ones. Divide by six, that outputs nothing. Uh, divide, uh, remainder six outputs five, and we're outputting five logistic bots and S for stack size five, just onto this green wire that only goes to one stack inserter. Um... And the downside here, just like with the other station, is we need logistic bots in this chest specifically. So there's a bunch of logistic bots that are here already, I believe. Now it's dropped to three to go. And... We're still struggling for bots. What are we missing? Batteries. Uh, seems like we've had battery troubles for quite a while. Copper again? How is it? Okay. I take it back. This has got to stay a high priority. Um, priority... Make it a very high priority. 
free coffee. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you want to select number, then yes. But for full train, no. Uh, one of the reasons we have to do these precise loaders is if you are... If you're having different items put into different trains, it's extremely important not to have the inserter sticking out at the end. So if the train just wants, if the train's nearly full and you go to put in, uh, let's say it needs another five logistic bots and this thing puts in a stack of eight, you'll have three logistic bots in the inserter's hand just sticking out onto the rail afterwards. When the next train comes, it's going to get a gift of three logistic bots and it's going to throw everything off. No bunk. Um, but yeah, the fact that I, for example, am allowing LTN to use the entire cargo wagon for these more complex loads, um, uh, that's a compounding factor, for example. You can avoid this by only loading one item or not having a pickup station that is for different... Oh, here's an example. How on earth did stone get in that chest? I think we found our culprit. Let's go have a look, shall we? Uh, so this one appears to be working just fine. This one, on the other hand, somehow has a single piece of stone in it. It's preventing... Somehow preventing this inserter from picking up any iron. And because this inserter was not placing iron into the cargo wagon... It was throwing off the count for everything else. Which leaves us with inserters sticking out after this train is done. On top of... I actually... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because this was set to iron plate specifically because it has to be taken somewhere else. We're avoiding the other inputs messing with this math right here. So somehow one stone got in this chest and it prevented this inserter from picking anything up. I think it was from deconstructing a rock or something. It somehow got put on the belt. Hey, Terex. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is he treating me pretty good, I think? That chest just got a little stoned. <laughs> yeah, it did. Absolutely. Literally one tiny pebble. Baker Staunch, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Without LTN, you'd want to leave a little extra space in the cart, so even uh, if the extended inserter gives a little extra, the train is fine. Yeah, again, you can... You can avoid this kind of complexity by, for example, uh, only having a train, like having a station only pick up or drop off one type of item at a time. Don't know what happened here. Uh, we've got lots of iron. Oh, was this... No? I actually don't know what happened this time. LTN is a logistic train network. It's a mod. Mad Beast. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Didn't, wait, didn't you say something earlier? Or are the days blurring together? Yeah, no. Okay. How is the wall? Uh, the wall is doing just fine, actually. This one's got artillery. That's not having any troubles whatsoever. 
uh, these ones, we're having a bit of trouble because we're not getting um, repair packs delivered. Um, but yeah, the advantage of that other precise loading circuit that I just demonstrated is it's going to be more robust against things like that. It might be worth the slightly slower loading process. Um, unfortunately... Oh, that stop shouldn't even be there anymore. Why don't we go and fix that? That'll definitely lessen the impact... on our supply chain. Um, now how can I get absolutely everything in the logistic network sent to the trash? It should be pretty easy actually. All I have to do is remove the whitelist for stuff that um, won't get put in this requester chest. So the trash train is going to come and take all that stuff back to the main bus. Oh, this is... Oh, I remember why this is unpowered. We didn't have an overabundance of power when we built this. No need for a power switch here anymore. Okay, so that should get repair packs. There we go. Repair packs are on the way. Fantastic. Have you tapped into all the main space resources? Yep, no, nope, not yet. We're getting ready to go to uh, one of our moons right now. Let's see. Oh, we're finished loading. Sort of. We've still got um, 145 stacks left to fill. What should we put in here? Was there anything that we might want more of? Uh, I think stone brick would be a good idea. And I don't know if we have concrete already. We do not. So that's uh, 20. Still leaves 120 stacks to go. Um, what else is on our shopping list? We got belts, inserters, uh, drills, cargo landing pad, cargo rocket silo, pulverizers. Uh, I think we got smaller drills. Actually, that's not true. Let's add these as well. Mm, a couple of hundred should be enough. I see you have some saved bioscience recipes in the calculator. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was from figuring out material science. Do you, you mean FNEI, right? No, not recurrent. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was it you looked at with all the robots, or is it? something small. All the robots. Uh, we were having trouble building enough robots to keep up with the demand over here. For the walls. Oh, but that was because copper stopped. Batteries stopped because copper stopped. I should probably do a rail build for batteries as well. Um... 
but yeah, it looks like that situation is resolving itself. Um, I think I will leave this set as a high priority. We'll let it get full. In fact, I might even bump up the train limit on this to three. Really can't be exaggerated how important it is not to run out of iron, uh, copper plate on the bus. Okay. What else? Concrete and miners. Um. We're already taking rail, but it's only a thousand. It's really not that much. Assembly machines? I've got 50. That's not a whole lot, actually. I don't know how many we're going to need to set up what we want to set up. But since we're trying to fill the rocket anyway, we may as well. Yup. Also, what moon are you going to? Uh, we are going to Tolubai. Uh, we've been to Mars already. I need to go back there to get Erudite getting sent back to Nalvis. But... Uh, the only new resource here is actually Vit... Vita Melange. Uh, however, it does have infinite uranium. Old Busk, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, should I take more modules? I think I should. I remember making a bunch of them on Moors. How about... Uh, 10 stacks. And... Probably overkill to go 10 stacks of speed, but what the hell. Until I... Until I think of something else we want in the rocket, I'm just gonna... Be a little bit excessive with what I put in it. Um... Anything else? Pipe? Pump jacks? I think we have pump jacks. Yeah, we do. I don't think we've got any pipe. That's going to take up some room. Yeah, let's do that. Um, ten stacks of each. Alright, that might be getting close to full. Enough resource to go back. Yep, we've got a uh, space capsule, uh, 20 packed cargo rocket sections, a cargo rocket silo, and uh, enough rocket fuel, I think, to turn it into uh, liquid rocket fuel. We've got the fuel refineries. And we've got enough to start a base, even if we lose some of it. Obviously, we're going to refine it a little bit, but I think this is going to be our shopping list uh, to go to each new planet. I think it's pronounced... Vita Melange, like the look-alike butter product. Okie dokie, I haven't actually heard of that one. Looks like our belt can keep up with these machines quite easily. That's good. Like the spice melange. The 
the Vita must flow. Do you have a main base? Yeah, kind of. Uh, this is probably it. I have been taking a few small steps to get away from this uh, slightly spaghetti mess. Um, because this is my first time playing through space exploration, I didn't know what I was doing here, and there's a couple of buses that are missing. Also, we've just kind of outgrown it. We're really struggling on, like, red circuits, for example. Especially blue circuits. Uh, speaking of which... Let's see how our new uh, circuit block is going. Forgot to put a radar over here earlier so we can see what's what. We appear to be lacking copper still. I guess I'm not that surprised because these station. Oh, not again. I'm getting a little tired of fixing this. Two hundred stack threshold. So there should be more than enough. Hmm. Wait, this was one of the ones that was full earlier. How did it come to these chests being empty? Okay, that's really weird. It... That's like... Almost nine stacks. That this chest got ahead of those other ones. Over the course of like six or seven train loads. Yeah, I'm going to have to come up with something a bit more robust for these uh, precise loads. Either that or, like I've talked about before, having a system where the last row of chests that goes into the train is uh, not kept as full, and then we have a storage before that so that we can have any size train picking up from here. I would add landfill to your rocket list. That might be a good idea. Oh yeah, because we'll... I definitely want landfill because we'll be uh, making at least one of these um, nuclear plants. So that is 6.5k. How many empty spaces have we got left? 96. That should be enough. Are we finished loading? Not quite. On the other hand, there is stone over there. It's not going to be difficult to turn that into landfill. But still may as well take as much as we can fit. Maybe not quite so many assembly machines. Uh, let's say 250. And then... Landfill... Uh, let's just fill up the rest. It's gonna do landfill first. I'll wait until those other things are loaded. Okay. Everything else going smoothly? So that's a use case I'd never thought of. Um, we ended up with... Well, to be fair, it only happened because these wires were not connected for a long time. But we ended up with a full row of chests of copper plate. And then... Over the course of seven train loads being filled up, we actually emptied... Wait. 
Okay, that doesn't even make sense. It wasn't... It was the one on the right, wasn't it, that was empty? It's not the chest that drops the remainder in that ended up empty. We've got a balanced loader. If anything, only the chests on the left should have slightly less copper plate than the rest of them. Does nothing... Oh. I think I found the problem. Well, it turns out even though they're at the end of the belt, uh, they actually do need... No, that doesn't even make sense. Actually, my... Hmm... So, these four chests did not have a condition saying they can't overfill compared to the others, and yet they somehow ended up more empty after the trains took their resources? I can't make sense of that. I don't know how that happened. I'm bringing first batch of beryllium plate and aeroframe poles into orbit. Nice. Okay, is everything else working for now? That looks good. Uh, that does not. Oh. Yeah, no, it seems fine, actually. Oh, it's filling it. No, it's not. What am I saying? Yeah, this is actually fine. Okay, good. Except that's not the train I should have been looking at. Um, earlier on we had Biders attack and break everything. And because of LTN... Getting the... Because rail was broken and LTN gives up on a delivery eventually. It sent a bunch of extra deliveries over here, but I thought that was fixed quite a while ago. I don't know if that's the cause of this one. And here's our copper. Okay, cool. Let's see how the loading of that rocket's going. We got speed modules being asked for still. I may have gone a little overboard requesting the speed modules. 63 to go. And we've run out. Wait, this is actually bottlenecked on the inserter. What are you doing? Okay. Not many blue circuits here. Yeah, I don't think we should wait for that many speed modules. It was going to be overkill anyway. Um, although I will get rid of this limitation on them. Slowly build up a reserve of those. Um, we only need like... Well, actually, let's do the math. Um, one beacon can easily be surrounded by eight machines. 8 times 4 is 32, versus 8 um, speed modules in the beacon. We only need a quarter 
as many speed modules as uh, productivity modules. Well, 125 doesn't stack. Let's do 150. The Omni Smelter is such a cool build. Thank you. Uh, so the current design... If you were to continuously smelt one thing for a long time, it is going to bottleneck on the half belt. However... What we do is fill up uh, chests of resources while we're smelting something else. So currently we're doing steel, um, we've got sand, we've got iron, we've got copper, we've got stone, and we've got half a chest of iron plate in each of these just ready to go. Clearly we're missing... Um, some... where is it? Uh, what do you call it? Vol Vulcanite blocks over here for now. I did build the circuit logic in to not use the Vulcanite blocks if we do run out of them. Um, but yeah, we might actually have to scale up our Vulcanite, get it from somewhere else. Geez, very cool. Thank you. The last system used a sushi belt. Uh, suffice to say, it's a bit more messy and unreliable. This is a much cleaner build. Theoretically, you could have the smelters... You could deliver every resource uh, to the smelters. You can definitely do that in vanilla, but... Practically speaking, um, unless you're going to use bots, getting that kind of volume of all the different resources to uh, each furnace is it doesn't work out so well. Not to mention, uh, we're only re we're only smelting one, two, three, four, five uh, different resources here. And look at the amount of belt spaghetti that we need to deal with that. Um, so yeah. You really can't have too many types of resources that you're smelting. Uh, unless you use bots. Or maybe directly from trains. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Alright, what do we got here? We have nothing being requested. Um, we have 84, really, we still have 84 slots free. Okay, how about 8,400 landfill? That's going to take a moment to get delivered. But once it does, I think we are ready. Hey, that's a good sight. Blue circuits are being produced. We got... R Why is there coal here? Well, going to have to pay that a visit again. Smelting directly from trains could be doable, but you'd probably run into issues in vanilla of not being able to beacon effectively. Yeah, I don't really care for beacons in vanilla. I much prefer space exploration for that. Yay, blue circuits? Yes, indeed. Where are we going? I don't think I'm going to wait anymore. I'm going to start setting my interplanet network before space elevators are out. I'm on holidays for three weeks now, so we might be able to get a lot of it done. Nice. Yeah, it's about time it was uh, holidays, right? Fantastic. So we got plenty of... I actually set it up so that these lights are half of a train load, I think. Yeah. 
This is quite a lot of red cir uh, green circuits and plastic. And here we have green circuits and copper. Um, as you can see, uh, the ratios are actually suitable. Uh, this lot will use 90 plastic bars and 90 electronic circuits per second, which is exactly what you get from two full blue belts completely saturated for each resource. A uh, copper plate is by far the least problematic. Um, only need 18 for each 90 plus. Uh, oh, sorry. 18 copper plate becomes 45, more than 45 uh, copper cable. And each of these pairs does 45 exactly. So you don't actually theoretically need... Um, Uh, we've actually got twice the belt that we need here, if you don't consider the fact that this one is getting shared between two rows. Um, as for red circuits versus blue circuits, that's very, very easy. We're eating 18 and we're producing 59.4 per second. Green circuits, uh, the, reason, the reason this build is so small is... That's actually 180 green circuits per second. Or to put it another way, four full blue belts. Uh, that was a sound. Uh, I think it is possible to get six. Um, coming from 24 chests. Maybe not with a stack size of eight, which is our maximum for now. And maybe not with balanced unloading. Okay. Uh, back to our rocket. Might be taking a minute to load all of the landfill. But other than that. We're just about ready. Oh, it's actually finishing right about now. Okay. Is there anything I should or shouldn't take with me in my inventory? Um, artillery? I didn't think of that. I could just put some artillery shells in my inventory. Seems like a good idea. And... We're surprisingly short on them here. That was not full. What's happening with artillery shell production? No radars. Uh, where are we making radars? This general direction? Radars are starving on... Oh, it's actually just limited by this inserter. In fact, it needs to be a stack inserter, theoretically. Uh, why don't we upgrade this as well, and this, and this, and... How many radars do we actually need to keep up with this thing? Uh, 0 0.15 per second. I'm pretty sure there's a reason those are efficiency modules. Yeah, that's as fast as we're getting explosive cannon shells. Okay. Oh, I should turn on my... I should turn off my personal logistics. Uh, artillery shell, 0 to infinity. Turn it back on. Let's grab some more shells. And... I wonder if I should take the ingredients for artillery shells. We can definitely stack those a lot better. Uh, explosive cannon shells stacks to 50. So I have to go to 100 to get an even number of them. 
25. That's not that much. Well, two stacks of explosives. I'd also have to... I'm already taking steel. I don't think I'm taking plastic. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need to worry about it. The planet is so small and I can probably... Uh... Let's make a shortcut. I can probably clear it out just with my power armor anyway. I think we're ready. Uh, let's make sure... Let's make sure we equip our... Combat stuff first. And why do I have 12 beacons all the time? Do I actually have a request for 12? Nope. Maybe I should take more beacons. I'm sure it's fine. We can make more. All right, that should do it. Let's go. Onward to Tolibai. And no doubt to get ambushed by biters as soon as we get there. Do you have media defense? Because you get biter medias on that planet. Yes. We've got... Um, quite a few. I think 12 uh, media defense turrets. Oh, right in the middle of... Oh my goodness. We're firing before we even get out of the capsule. Let's go. <laughs> I remember the most important thing, which was to equip combat gear before I launched. Hopefully they won't destroy anything. That was pretty effective, actually. Alright. Let's get the island clear first. I bet biters didn't expect that. No, that would be a Black Swan event for the Biters, I think. That boy not so slim. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Good work on surviving? No worries. I'm actually half empty on my energy already. Um, we might have to calm down a little bit on the 16 lasers before we clear out this island. If I, t if I avoid taking damage, that'll save some energy as well. Usually you pay energy to save time by tanking a few shots. Oop. Careful. Most important thing is to get the spawners. Okay, I think it's time to swap out half the lasers for power. Although it was definitely the right thing to have 16 of them equipped when we landed. Easy enough. Um, I also need to make sure as soon as the island is clear we should set up the um, anti-media defense. But to do that, we need power. We do have solar panels. That's quick and easy to set up. They've actually spread a lot faster than I realized. It's a good thing this island is so small.
if I had scanned the whole thing and not trimmed it earlier, uh, probably the entire planet would be covered in biters by now. When I say earlier, I mean much earlier, like uh, when we were discovering what uh, the scanning system was like. Yeah, I definitely would have run out of energy by now. And the bases just keep coming. Let's lure them away a little bit. Go straight for the spawners. Use the terrain. Okay. Should be like the second or third last base, I hope. Could be a bit more than that. I increased my SPM 10 times from 0 0.4 to 4. Nice. And I kind of want to make sure I get the bases that are close to my stuff. As much as anything. Goal is 960. Long way ahead. Yeah, that'll... that'll be a little while. Okay. They're actually forming, I think it was an expansion group because we don't have any pollution here. Come to think of it, when I build here, I should probably put a little bit of defenses everywhere, um, just in case something goes wrong, stopping the bite of medias by some time before I have to come back here to protect it. Okay, time to do a little scan and see if we've cleared out the island. Nope. Anything else? Think that might be it. Unless another media gets dropped before I finish building. Okay, victory. Let's drop some solar, the good kind, and gonna need to find our stuff, which I think is all strewn about over here. Or, no, it's here. Okay. Very bottom of the island as well. 
Oh, good point. There's literally just one spawner left. Okay. Uh, I'm almost tempted to try just using the rocket launcher, but no. Swap this out again. Uh, let's recharge a little bit more before we attack them. Make sure I've got some rocket fuel left. Yeah, we've got seven. Oh, is that what we came here for? Or one of the two things we came here for? Vita Melange. It's like green rocks. The other type of green rocks. Okay. Um, we need some flat solar panels. And that's mainly it. I'll drop these manually so that we... Um, so that we can hold on to our charge for lasers. I think that's all of them. Sub... Uh, I was going to say substations, that was going to be a misspeak. I could... Wait, where did my... Oh, there they are. I could drop artillery to kill that. But no, I think we'll save that for the stuff outside of the island. Um, This should be enough already. And there goes the spawner. Okay, I thought there was one more... ...biter moving around here. Oh. Make it... ...a few more. I don't see a spawner. Maybe they were about to do an expansion. Okay, so hopefully that's that. Let's get our Roboports going. We'll keep some shields on for now. And... A little bit of laser. Oh, they're picking everything up. Um, no, that's not going to work out so well. Let's place a few more of these. Don't need that. Dang punks. Okay. Uh, I need to find our media defenses. There's two of them. Two more. One more. So it looks like all of the cargo pods have... A bit of everything, insofar as that's possible. Nomadic biters, yes. Oh, turned off the... Turned on the RoboPod again. Oh, I forgot these take up an entire inventory slot. Oh, that's okay, it's going into my trash. That's actually helpful at the moment. How many do I have? Uh, that is 11. I'm looking for one more, if we've got it. Nope. Nope. I wonder if we lost one. It's probably fine if we... Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's drop some turrets. 
There's no way I can put this in the middle, is there? Nope. Just don't worry about it. I don't think I brought cliff explosives. I have precious few cliff explosives. Well, we'll just have to... Damn it. Just have to figure out how to make some more. Uh, bots go. Uh, Stony, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I guess I may as well put some artillery down. The artillery looks so small compared to this thing. We don't have that much ammo. I really didn't need to put that many down. What's our range like? Uh, actually, our artillery range is almost exactly the size of this planet. If I put a turret right in the middle with the targeting remote, I can literally hit anything with a single artillery piece. The whole dang planet, yeah. It doesn't get extended just because there's, like, low gravity, right? Well, may as well get... Oh, that's the one spot we can't reach. May as well get started before they spread some more. I don't have that much ammo. I want to make sure we're efficient with it. And I should probably... Okay, let's fix this first. I got distracted. Um, put a chest over here. Medium pole. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Don't forget these things need power as well. Uh, and now we need to put some artillery ammo down. Uh, uh, not artillery ammo, the anti-media ammo. Like so. That should last a while. Bots, please stop for now. Okay. Ammo goes here. And it is very, very slowly being put in place. Uh, obviously, but well, especially at night, uh, it's going to take a little while for these to charge. They're currently at 0%. That's not so promising. Maybe I should drop a couple more of these. Main thing is I drop the solar panels. Here's exercise from geometry. What's minimal count of turrets to cover the whole surface? Possibly one. It's hard to tell precisely. All right, let's go follow up. With some lasers on D 
the islands that we think we've cleared. Or at least have partially cleared. Those are some biters. Here are some more. Yeah, I definitely should have brought laser turrets beyond the 50 that I normally carry. As soon as the anti-meteor defenses have charged, I'll dot some around on the main island. What happens if I fly off the planet? Oh, it doesn't let me. one. Yeah, we would definitely run out of shells before we clear this entire thing. Still a good idea to send the shells in before we follow up with the lasers, though. We'll do that for the next continent. Should I even call them a continent? Kind of small. no trouble to clear this one out before we get low on energy. So many cliffs on this planet? Yeah. I think you can see in the um, description of it. Hot seas, humid shrubs, colorful mountains. There it is. We're not losing anything here, are we? No, we're good. left to go really. I'll just do a bunch of hit and runs on the spawners and then circle back around to finish the rest. The nice thing about going that fast is even if the biters down me, 
they won't catch me. I forgot you were here, or here precisely in any case. There's actually a lot more here than I was expecting. I guess I should have expected about the same consistency as the middle of the planet. Also, this whole section was a bit more sparse. Might actually lose a lot of my energy before I uh, clear this out. Cliffs are dense in the south, so there isn't much space for bases. Yeah, I guess so. Spawners are always top priority. Cliffs are very advantageous for me as well. I can always lose the big ones. Better double check that nothing's getting destroyed on this planet. I don't think we're fine. Okay. I think that's just a couple of worms, yep, but I don't want to leave any blotches of red that I have to worry about. That looks kind of cool. I think we're almost there. Definitely uh, going to change this shopping list for next time so that we take the ingredients for a lot of artillery shells rather than the shells themselves, since that's going to be a lot more storage dense. Might be a spawner down to the south. Might just be a worm. Yeah, it's a worm.
And I think that's it. Let's double check. I think I see a little splotch over here. No, it's one of these things. Okay, so that is the southern continent cleared. This whole continent is one big landmass. We'll do this one next. Lao's Wayne, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are these things still not charged? Zero percent. Really? And a whole day has passed. Um. Wait, how much are we getting out of this? 391 kilowatts. Uh, I think it's just a little bit less. Yeah, 98 percent compared to Nalvis. Let's grab some more solar panels and maybe I should remove some of these turrets until they charge one by one uh, from the power network nice of these cargo capsules to have about the same layout every time Okay. Uh, need to turn on my robots. A bit more of this. Uh, Slight whoops, but that's fine. Okay, so we have 126 times 391 kilowatts. Uh, like 500 megawatts almost. And each of these requires 20 megawatts. Oh. Draws 20 megawatts when recharging. How much does it take to recharge them? And they're already... They've already got ammo. I'll leave that as it is. But for now, I think... We'll just try and charge one of these at a time. Except these ones, I guess that's fine. The accumulators aren't going to matter for a little while. Oh, it's charging. Surprisingly quickly, considering that all of these were on 0% before. Alright. Oh, we've still got a bunch of flat solar panels to place as well. Let's put a row down here. Not that one. And get some more plots.
And as soon as I finish placing these ones, I think I'll rush the nuclear plant. Inventory is full. Okay. And that should be fine. So if this was charging 10 times, 12 times slower, it should still be perceptible. Let's just add these like so. And make sure they're connected. Yep, now it's visible. Although these ones are still not connected to the main network. There we go. Alright, gonna take a minute to charge, but that's okay. Let's grab some more accumulators for when those are fully charged. And away go the bots again. Let's reset them. Accumulators. Should probably put some stuff in that capsule. Okay. Don't really need my jetpack right now. How much rocket fuel do I still have? Uh, zero apparently. Where did my fuel go? Am I really that low on it? I could make some, uh, uh, some processed fuel in a hurry if I really want to, but there's more rocket fuel back in the ship. In the cargo pads, uh, pods, I should say. Almost fully charged for the first, uh, media defense installation. Just position ourselves so the bots do all the work. And let's have a look at our next target. I don't see any biters yet. This is kind of strange. You're kidding. How? There are no biters on this entire island. That seems improbable. Um, did we artillery them at all? Even so, there should have been some expansions that we didn't see. Take care, Veldak. Oh, the joys of factory, my coal outposts are empty. Rip. Oh, there's some. Three worms. Literally nothing we need to worry about over here. It's kind of surprising. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I guess I'll place the rest of my accumulators, if there are any left. Doesn't seem like there are. Nope. 
I should make a blueprint for... Especially if we're landing on a planet that doesn't have biters to worry about. I could just throw a blueprint down around about here. And as soon as we land, the bots start picking this stuff up and building, perhaps. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Away go the accumulators. Should have had a blueprint ready to drop this stuff a bit faster as well. Okay, I think... I think it's time to do some more combat stuff while we wait for that to charge. And let's do a little satellite scouting first, shall we? That's looking a lot more dangerous. And it's making it look even more improbable that this island is completely empty of biters. Especially with the biter medias. Alright, let's keep mowing the lawn we know where all of the bases are until they go ahead and make expansions while we're attacking them. The artillery is going to make a lot less of an impact than I thought it would. Partly because there's way more biters than I was expecting by now. Probably going to be easier to start on the side with a lot of cliffs. Because the biters can't chase us. Alright, let's actually get a feel for what we should snipe. We have uh, 13 shells left. Should probably just go for the most uh, for the most value. If I move these over a bit, we might get a better coverage. There's only a couple of spawners that that's not reaching. It's probably fine. And hit that with lasers. No big deal. Alright, let's use the satellite view. Make sure we're actually... Those are in fact spawners. I can't actually use the satellite to do this, it looks like. Oh, yes I can. Fantastic. So what do I have? Like 13 shots, right? No artillery ammo in range already? Oh, apparently we've run out. Okay, off we go. Walls are still getting attacked as usual. Oh, we've also got a whole lot of Vulcanite here. That's going to help for quite a while. That was a worm still. Oh no. Did I just run out of jetpack fuel on the wrong island? Uh, I can make a fuel processor. It's fine. Yeah. 
and solar panels. It's it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, what is this? Max consumption nine megawatts. Really? Hold on. Does this? No, it just uses fuel. Okay. I never realized that. Get out of here, Cole. I like to look at some of these trees. Ember Medusa tree. Oh, I seem to have located some of my artillery shells. It's actually going to take a minute. Let's just grab these for now. And I think that's our first pollution on this planet. A worthy milestone. I'm glad I didn't drop out of the sky over the ocean. That would have been very unfortunate. And embarrassing. What is this? Oh, Vulcanite. And away go the spawners. Cliff's doing all the work for me. Alright. Quite a lot of biters. Although most of them are only big ones, which are practically nothing. Shouldn't take too long to clear out this section, at least. I should try setting up an artillery turret exactly in the center of the planet and see if it can reach everywhere. And when we automate everything here, it can literally... If somehow the biter medias make it through, it can clear out every biter spawner. It might not even be... I was almost going to say it might not be necessary to have the anti-media defense. But on the other hand, you might just have a biter media drop right on top of your most precious stuff. Which would be unfortunate. It's fine. Yes, indeed. Nothing bad happening here. I do need to remember to go back for more of that fuel relatively soon. Did you skip a base on the coast? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think that's a Vulcanite. Uh, it's not exactly on the coast, it is quite close. Good catch. Uh, 
Okay, let's head back for that one first, and we'll grab our um, fuel. Processed fuel. Okay. Oh, hello. Actually, I should check my fuel before I fly over the ocean. Nicely marked on the map by the pollution cloud. Here is our processed fuel. Can I give it a little bit more coal? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe. Just need one more. I lied. 4%? Oh, uh, whatever. Fine. You know what fine stands for, don't you? Freaked out, insecure, neurotic, emotional. Yes, indeed. Sydney Kinson von Ice Tea. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh... So... Before we continue, I would like to move the artillery... ...and find the exact point that covers the entire map, if it's possible. Maybe about here? Uh, still a bit more to the left, but, and a little bit down, I think. It might not quite. Is this thing, is this thing taller than it is wide? That doesn't sound right. But look at this. There's like 10 to 15 tiles down here. That's sticking out by a decent amount, but this is just barely touching at the top, and this is covering the left side. So... Something's not a perfect circle. Put the turret about here. Now it pretty much covers the bottom. But not really. Well, it's good enough. So we've got 11 shells left. Makes sense the rotation axis is not aligned north to south, but east to west. If they were able to take that into consideration, I'm very impressed. All right, let's continue uh, making the world safe for factories. You've already fired. That's concerning. Um, zero shots fired, zero of 12 structures remain ready. But you were almost finished charging earlier. The ammo hasn't gone down. It doesn't, like, stop charging if it runs out of input or something, does it? It was charged. We did have 199 ammo here earlier, right? The Earth isn't a perfect sphere either. It's wider along the equator compared to around the longitudes, I suppose so. Yeah, just what, just a, uh, not a detail that I was expecting, that's for sure. It's the kind of thing I would expect from Purple Space Program, not 
uh, Factorio mod. Not necessarily, anyway. Thank you for forming into a group right before I got here. And away you go, the spawners. That's uh, another one down here. Well, we're getting close to the choke point relatively quickly. I don't know if I'm going to find a point where I'm going to use the artillery now, because those 11 shells are sort of too awesome to use. It's only going to be if I find a really dense base that's going to be a pain to attack. Well, actually, I would rather just... Oh, I am... of suboptimal intelligence. I was thinking earlier I could have one artillery shell... Uh, one artillery turret cover the entire planet, but that's actually with the extra range from the targeting remote. Um, we're going to need more than a few upgrades before it can automatically cover the whole planet. Still not a bad idea to dot a few artillery turrets around in case uh, some of the bite of meteors get through. Minus B plus B. Not a big deal. Let's just draw an ellipse with half axis A greater than B instead of drawing ellipse with half axis A equals B. Yeah. Just not the kind of uh, detail that I would necessarily um, expect them to be aware of or bother with. I mean, especially with the track record of almost all games and movies when it comes to realism, when it comes to space. How bad is this planet? It's not that bad, I just... Uh, I, I left it to reproduce spiders for a bit too long after scanning it before I came here. Alright. Um, should probably just focus on recharging a bit faster. That was not the jetpack button. Um, okay. Remind yourself. Much better. I should be a bit more careful with that many giant worms around as well. That space thing is a mod, right? Mod developers might just pay that little more attention to these little details. Yeah, it depends on the mod author, of course. Jump scare of the day. <laughs> yeah. I was taking a sip of my drink.
imagine that's how you die. Jetpacking around and you decide to have a sip of water and then lose control. Something I hardly ever notice is those little target things showing which uh, which biter is being targeted by the lasers. Gotta watch out for my fuel consumption. 37. Well, there's plenty of... as long as I don't fly over the ocean, um, there's plenty of coal to turn into fuel over here. would be quite a challenge to try to set up a logistic network to bring fuel over if I got stuck in the ocean. It might be doable. I should have 10 roboports. Yeah. But I don't have any logistic bots. I'd have to do... Construction bots deconstructing things. I need to hope that the bots actually bring me the fuel. If they don't... If, if I can't reach a bit of land to put things in a chest, I'm going to be in trouble. I should probably check on now this. Seven laser turrets destroyed is more than usual. Let's take a little break from this. And recharge a bit quicker. And... Make sure... Everything is still okay. Was this it? Yeah, it looks like we're doing fine. You're literally hovering over the ocean? I'm walking on the ocean. Kind of. Okay. We're almost there, kind of. One more big push. I should have put a radar down there. Maybe I should do that before I attack the biters. Too late. I forgot that I didn't have lasers. So we may as well drop that radar right now. And 34%. Okay, this is really weird. Uh, this was definitely charging earlier. We haven't used any ammo. We checked this earlier. It was 199. And this is back down to 35%. I think we should remove these for now. Oh. And I'm thinking if we run out of power and this isn't fully charged, it just resets. Looks like your jetpack is still on here. JC?
We do have artillery cover covering this island, at least. So that's going to be a bit less scary. Um, if one of the... Spider Meteors gets through. I just want to confirm, as soon as this is fully charged, it stops drawing power. Or the power draw is probably not that much. Ninety-four. Ninety-seven. And... Thirty... Oh. Five seconds. Five megawatts? Really? Okay, that's actually a lot more than I thought it would be. So there's no way we can support 12 of these on solar panels. Um... How about... Well, how much are we producing? 75 megawatt. That's a little bit less than if they were all charging at the same time. If I add another one, that is. So I think we have to stick with three of these for now. What is going on in Nelvis? Nothing much, really. Okay, back to the biters, start from our choke point, oh, let's get some more fuel, I do not want to have to worry about that again, I'll grab a couple of stacks of rocket fuel, a uh, one, and a two. And go a bit faster for the moment. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! That was rude. And I thought I was being, like, extra paranoid to go all the way back to that choke point. There is no overkill, there's only open fire, and I need to reload. The fact that there are such things as biter meteors has pretty scary implications. Idea, um, clearing them out overall is going to take this long. I thought it would literally be like 15 minutes or something. Oh, 
Well, we're getting there anyway. Round and round and round we go. Lifts come to my aid. Let's make sure we don't leave anything behind us. Oh my goodness, that was a bit riskier than I had in mind. Nothing but wands. By the way, seeing the actual laser beams implies there's a lot of particles in the air scattering the light, reducing the power of the laser, where it hits the surface of the target. Under perfect conditions, you wouldn't see anything but the spot on the actual target aimed at. Interesting. What was that? Oh, by, that's a media. One shot fired, two out of three, ready. Oh, it was destroyed. Okay, fantastic. And away we go. Back up this way. run out of energy. Whoops. Oh, I thought I was dropping out of the sky or something. It's just an autosave. Okay. Maybe artillery would be in order here. Get the spawners before they can reproduce. Uh, especially with I don't think we can hit all three of these, but we can try. Here it comes.
Yeah, that's about what I thought. Just want to hit the spawner. them over here. Should I just use shells wherever I can, I can hit two of them? Maybe. So defended now. Hey, Seifer Cat. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A couple of cliffs on this planet. Yeah, just a few. I think it's got a tag that says mountains. Oh, that's a good one. Don't know how many shells I've got left after that. Should probably have a few more lasers now. Just this one last section to go. Not to mention... Double check there aren't any I'm trying to slip through here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ish, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Less than fifteen biter bases to go, possibly. Oops. What is this planet's special source in the core? Uranium. So we'll be able to have, well, I think, uh, we'll be able to run at least a couple of planets on nuclear power indefinitely. It's also got 
uh, Vitae Melange, which we haven't picked up yet. Depending on how much uranium we can get with an infinite supply, uh, it might also mean we can do a lot more... Uh, we can get more power from uranium and do even more coal mining on Nalvis. But we're pretty far into the diminishing returns from that, so it would have to be... Uh, pretty extreme. That blue 10FS, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? I'm a bit low on energy. Let's take a little break. And that gives me an opportunity to do this. Welcome, raiders. So there's a little black rock here. It's kind of odd. Stream went well. Nice. Alright, let's recharge a little bit faster. And see what we've got left to deal with. Not a whole lot. I think while we wait to recharge, I'll just do a quick double check. There is indeed nothing on this uh, island for some reason. We've cleared this one, let's make sure. Spent almost nine hours improving FPS slash UPS. Well, you gotta do it sometime. What kind of base are you building? Any kind of gimmick or just mega base with a target? I thought that was a biter base for a second there. Oh! Found one! I didn't actually think we would over here. Um, that's concerning. They're almost repopulating at a rate that's fast enough that it's going to be really difficult to ever wipe them out. Um, but I don't think we're going to find any more. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Okay. We're only like 30% recharged. Spent uh, 5k slash 5 RPM megabase. It's a rail world that is essentially a rail bus. Interesting. I'm basically going from my starter mall to uh, on the left and building right. So are you doing direct inserting from trains or something else? Maybe I can deal with a bit more laser here. Maybe it would be worth... Uh, spending our remaining shells over here. I think that 
would be a good idea. Don't know how many we've got left. Uh, one, actually. So we'll use it on this double over here. Turned out the shells did come in handy. I have train stations and whatnot, just not uh, diverting the main line of the railway north or south, only going east. My solar field goes west. Interesting. That's kind of a relatively big one. Just one spawner left over there. And this one's actually already dead. Straight for the spawner. Oh my god, that was scary. And very sudden. Wasn't expecting to lose my entire shield just in half a second. Okay, I think that's it. Just have to go back and clear out the small expansions before they get even worse. And that'll be this planet cleared until Vita Medias get through and bring some more. Maybe I should fly there directly, but I want to watch out for any other expansions if I can. Head up this way first. And this one. Almost easy to miss this one because of the Vulcanite on the map. That's a lot of big biters. I think they might have been doing another expansion. One, two, three more little bases. 
Unless they've done even more expansions in that time. Leave that rock alone. Let's head up this way first. Uh, blue chests are being destroyed. Oh, it's that one. Never mind. I was worried for a second there. Those are supposed to be destroyed. Save the rock? Yes, indeed. And then... Hopefully this is the last one. Alright, let's enable scanning on Tolubai again. Uh... Scan surface. And where do I see the scanning on that? Maybe it's trying to scan. Oh, here it is. Unless that's just part of our radar. There should be chunks getting revealed somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's off in the corners? A meteor was destroyed. It was going to land outside here. I wonder how that would have worked with the biter meteors. Well, in any case, let's do our own little scan before we write them off. Looks like we're doing just fine. All right. Uh, we've finished. We've finished our vegetables. It's time for dessert. Let's start building. So far, we've had one or two shots fired to shoot down the meteors. Hopefully this is enough for now. All right, so what comes next? Should I build the nuclear plant before we continue? Seems like a good idea, actually. Uh, let's grab all of the landfill we can fit first. And then... Uh, we can't really support that many roboports for now. Let's just do this. And figure out where we're going to fit it. Maybe I could fit it on top of this island here. Uh, not really. Don't necessarily like that. Actually, yeah. All of that would be landfill. So what if we put this right about here? Maybe a bit... I want it just close enough to the edge that even if this got completely overrun with biters somehow, uh, we wouldn't be getting sniped even if there was a big worm right here. The main thing is uh, bots can get across it. Why don't I just... Place a roboport here first. So that we can see if this will connect. Oh yeah, that's easy. 
All right. Let's put it right about here. And I guess I'll rescue the fishies. Um, actually, if I activate my bots, it's gonna... Mm, that's gonna be a pain. Let's just build it. And away we go. Didn't realize my inventory was that full. Suddenly we've got all these random fish on the shore. I guess I could give them a hand, but I really don't want to mess up when it comes to landfill. And I can't really see... I can't really see where the gaps should be. Bye-bye armor energy? Yeah, kind of. We're only doing four personal roboports. It's actually really important that these gaps don't get messed up for this uh, blueprint. The pumps are right in the middle here. Um, oh, I ran out of landfill. Okay. Let's make a little bit more. And pick up some more once that runs out. It's actually getting made a little bit slower than I expected. Okay. Oh, no you don't. Okay. Landfill. 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 And RoboPort on. And I think I'll take a short break while that's happening. Give it a little save just in case something very unexpected happens. Alright, back in a minute or two.
Bonk. Thanks to the Yay Train. Bell deck. Again. Mankey Kitty. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Any other lurkers in there? Not that I can see. Okay. Uh, hey, we just finished building this far. Really good timing. Used up almost all of the uh, landfill that I was carrying as well. Okay. Is my microphone on? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Back we go. I can hear you, no worries. Let's minimize bot abuse a little bit here. I'm actually doubly glad that I updated this blueprint uh, to have some power management. Since we've got a finite amount of nuclear power uh, fuel, nu uh, nuclear fuel cells to, uranium fuel cells, to um, use up until we get the production chain going. And as expected, we're going to have to make another trip. Back we go. Maybe I should have started down this corner. I'm not too terrified of messing up doing it like this. Why is that bit missing a piece? I'll have to place the blueprint again just to be sure. Yeah, no, that should be okay. I think it's just missing a little bit of landfill over there that's just to be aesthetically consistent. I think we've maybe got enough to finish it this time. Yeah, definitely. Nope. Bring to me the fish. Nope. And these ones. All right. Here we go. Very carefully. I don't know if I brought any logistic bots, actually. Um, let's have a check. Oh yeah, I did. Plenty.
Let's turn the music back on. It's a bit louder than I was expecting. Okay. This is going to take a few trips to build, I think. Back we go. I wonder how I could expedite the process next time. I don't think there's really much I could change. Since we're going to get like an even distribution of all the different stuff we put into the rocket in each of these cargo pods, I'm going to have to scavenge through all of them each time. Probably should have saved an accumulator or two for this build, but it doesn't really matter that much. everything we can drop for now. Seems that way. Wait, what? Oh, the lights were there already. And... Pipes. Anything else here? Don't know. Alright, let's just drop that for now. This really is quite a large build. Maybe I should blueprint, like, a quarter of it. Surface scan progress. I'm not seeing it. X24, Y4. It's probably off the planet. I need to remember to pick up storage tanks next time. And offshore pumps. And heat exchanges still. Uh, I think offshore pumps I was going to handcraft here. Actually. Because we need so few of them, they're easy to craft. Um, we've already got stacks of things that we can turn into offshore pumps. Don't forget some storage tank. I 
Okay. Grab those for now. And robots go. I don't know where the heat exchangers have gotten to. I know I brought significantly more than enough, so even if we lost some, we should be fine. There, there they are. Okay. Quite a lot of stuff I haven't picked up from that particular container. Get some regular solar panels as well. Uh, how many do we need of 16 offshore pumps? <clears throat> so let's uh, see what we can do about that. Offshore pump. Done. Grab the nuclear fuel. Is there anything else? Heat pipe. Possibly exchanges. Picked those up from here already. I think that might be it. Off you go. Oh, I forgot to get the solar panels again. Let's go get them now. Can't remember which container I put them in. That'll do. Right, so eventually those robo pots will be charged. We've also got some water now, that's good. Looks like we are only going to be missing the accumulators. And apparently, like, seven heat pipe. Oh, did I... I think we were slightly... We needed, like, 505 or something heat pipe. Nope, 472. Oh, that's the other design. Yeah, 504. So I, I knew I would have to make some. Or use an entire extra stack just for that. Uh, we can make those quite easily. Just need more copper and steel. And... Actually, I think it was literally seven that we needed, wasn't it? I guess I'll leave that on the ground for now. Oh, bots. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Okay. It was down here, wasn't it? And... Was that it? Yep, I think we're only missing accumulators now. I 
Fantastic. It's going to take a minute for those Robo Ports to charge, but that's okay. And the main thing now is just giving them some fuel. Can I maybe... I don't think I can manage to evenly distribute the fuel that I'm carrying into eight different containers unless I do this. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, settings, mod settings, even distribution. Uh, maximum inventory cleanup disable. I thought there was a. I thought there would be a setting that you could change the timer. So that you can. Oh, here it is. The delay before items are evenly distributed. Okay, how big can we make this? Five seconds. Perfect. Let's go. Careful. No, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that. No, please stop. No, don't. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, rip. Okay. I guess we're just doing it live. So much for that idea. Wait, wasn't this on half a second? Yeah, there we go. That shouldn't be enough to fill the storage tanks anyway. Full of steam. Although some of these have an extra bit of fuel, and some have one less. That's a bit odd. I guess I did bring not a multiple of eight. It's probably fine. Alright, so that is our pipes heating up. Time to start building some infrastructure to actually use this power. You're kidding. Oh, we could maybe do this. There we go. Alright, what's next on the agenda? We've got power in large volumes, temporarily. Should I go straight to the core mining? I didn't... There's no uranium on this little island, and I don't think I brought sulfuric acid, uh, which I probably should have. There is, of course, oil. No worries there. That is... Oh, that's right. There's like three worms over there. I thought that was a biter base for a second. Let's not be fooled again. Let's double check there's actually nothing on this island. Okay, there's really not that much space to work with here. I definitely should have brought a lot more cliff explosives. Uh, bearing that in mind, I suppose it would make sense to go for the oil as soon as possible. So let's grab some pump jacks. Uh, 
And I wonder... Should I go for any oil field in particular to start with? It probably couldn't hurt, except I'll have to build a bridge or something. I don't have a mod for ships or anything like that. Unless we wanted to do uh, cannons just to cross the body of water, which no. On second thought, maybe what we've got on this island... I was going to say almost that that should be enough, but we want to get the finite uh, vitae melange. Alright, enough indecision. Let's just start by doing what we can with this island. It's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pump jack uh, oil patches over here. And how should we fit them all together? I guess that works. Except this doesn't line up very well. That's almost a perfect fit. Okay, and then power. Can I maybe get a substation to reach there that touches all of these? Only if I destroy the cliff. That's not quite worth it. I don't know if I connected these power networks earlier. I did. I should definitely connect it to our nuclear plant. And away go the bots. Okay. Nope, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Pick this stuff up. Alright, so we're gonna need some storage tanks. And I guess we'll grab the old oil system. Feels weird having a use for this uh, this late in the game. That can go right about here. Wait, is that... Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more space for that one. Like so. That should work pretty well, actually. Except this needs power. What are my bots doing? Oh, my inventory is full.
surprised how much of this I'm already carrying. And... Oh. Don't know if I brought enough regular pipe to the planet, I mean. We can always make more. Alright, so we need to get oil refineries and... Don't know if I brought any more chemical plants. Roadway port off. Um, what was I doing? I want straight pipe. That's a chemical plant. Don't think I've got... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see how much more of this we can... Let's not forget the refineries, actually. There they are. And off we go. That'll do. Okay. Um, we're going to need some water. Short pump. Uh, maybe change this one a little bit. spot to connect this. Nothing lines up. So let's just do this. And then offshore pump somewhere. Let's find a conclusion to work backwards from. That looks pretty good. Offshore pump goes here. And it needs water. Okay, that's oil. So then we need explosives, which require coal and sulfur. Sulfur requires water and petroleum. And... That'll be our cliff explosives. Oh, no, it won't. Uh, coal, sulfur, and water. Okay. What are my bots doing? Oh, this again. Okay. And then... Over here. what coal we've already got in there and then I think the last step 
is not in a chemical plant. Cliff explosives. Explosives, empty barrel, grenade. Okay. Grenade is coal and iron. And then... Empty barrel, I think... Did I actually pack empty barrels? Or oh, that was for something else. I don't think I packed empty barrels. We've got steel, though. Yeah, okay. Barrel... Of the empty variety. I wish Factorio occasionally had super happy music. That'd be nice. Um, so let's grab ourselves some steel and iron. Oh, we've got some already, but let's grab some more. That should be enough cliff explosives to get us through the night. Steel. Iron plate. Grenade. Explosives. Water, sulfur, water. And that should be it. Explosives, grenades, yep, there we go. And I'll just lazily limit it to a stack. Make it two stacks. Alright, what's next? Uh, let's look at what we brought for some clues. Oh yeah, coal mining. How's our uranium doing? Uh, our nuclear plant. I see heat. I see 980 degrees. I see... We're wasting fuel, actually. I thought I tested... Th oh, that's right. I did test this so that... To check that we would actually not waste anything. But I think that was assuming... Uh, fuel in here, and then you switch it on, and I should have put a constant combinator, pretending that there's too much steam, and then once you, everything is in place, you flick that off. Oh, something for next time. Okay. So we've got quite a lot of energy to burn through here. Uh, why don't we... How many coal mining drills did I bring? Two, three, four. More importantly, how many do we actually have? Surely I brought more than this. Five, six. I think I... I think I packed eight, but I am not seeing eight. I think we got robbed. Oh, seven. Yeah, I think we're missing at least one core mine. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
let's see where we would fit these. Preferably somewhere in the middle. That's not copper or anything, is it? Looks kind of like Zerg Creep or something. It's actually pretty disturbing. Am I... Have I landed on Cthulhu's egg? Alright. One way to find out. These are actually, surprisingly enough, smaller than I expected. Um, let's put these together like so. Three point eight three core fragments per second. I don't think we're going to need more than one belt. Seven point six per second. Okay. Maybe we should have brought more or mining drills, but it's fine. Okay, let's connect this up. And away we go. Probably should have put some belt down first. This is one case where yellow belt is more than sufficient. Wait, what? That looked... extremely fast. Did I have something set wrong with rate calculator? The whole thing should be 7.67 per second. Zero, less than one per second per machine. But what is this? That doesn't look like... What? Oh, because of product... No, but rate calculator should take productivity into consideration, right? There's that surface scan still doing apparently nothing. Or maybe it's vision down here? I don't think so. Two, three. Okay, that looks about right. So why... Why is this progress bar going at Mark 20? Oh well. It's probably fine. Let's grab ourselves some pulverizers. And figure out how many we're going to need for now. Okay, so core fragment processing uranium ore gives us two uranium ore and then turns into five regular core fragments. Uh, plus one stone. So how fast is this? 0 0.25 per second. Give them some productivities. And a pecan. Can I touch six of these with a beacon? I can. Alright, and let's power those up. See how it looks. Uh, 21.6 core fragments per second. This is already way more than enough. For the first step, anyway. Um, so after that... So we need to output core fragments... 
uh, core fragments, uranium ore, and stone. That's going to be a little bit tricky or awkward. Um, each of these is going to be less than one per second, except for regular core fragments, but... Uh, the main thing is a long arm can keep up for each resource. We could have two of the resources share a belt. Maybe just have the inputs come in. What if we have the uh, uranium... It consumes faster than it outputs. Okay. Core fragment-wise. What if we do it like this? And then... Output... Oh, that's wrong. The core fragments like so. Hmm. I don't really like that. Actually, yes, I do. Let's do the same thing down here, but with regular core fragments. And then... Oh, this... The fluid output. That's always fun. Uh, let's see. These don't output fluid, so that'll be easy. And then... We could do it like this. Alright, we're obviously going to need variety output for this stuff. Why don't we have the stone and uranium from up here just join the same variety output, and we'll deal with it down here somewhere. But maybe... If all the physical products are going to be output like this, uh, how quickly does it make physical products for each one of these? Let's connect this, shall we? That's not going to reach. And I need more substations. Where are my substations? There we go. I'm a little sad this doesn't quite reach, but maybe if we do it like this? No. It doesn't quite reach the outside. Uh, that's sad. We could do substations on the outside, like so. That wouldn't quite touch the beacon. Alright. Let's move the beacon in, and move these together like so. And 
And where would the substation fit? Uh, if the substations are in the middle, they'd have to like alternate like this. It's going to be bad no matter what. So why don't we just... Do it like that. Medium pulls to the rescue, I guess. Oh, that's... Those are our outputs. I also didn't consider if I wanted to do the pipes in the middle here, but that's okay. And like so. Same thing on the opposite side. And then... So these are all outputting oil here. Oh, you need to output your water as well. Uh, that's a problem unless I move this stuff out a bit. If I use long arms for these, can they output everything fast enough? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. About seven items per second, so that's a no. In fact, if anything, these might need to be stack inserters. We could do the physical output on the outside. I think we need to either make space between these or stretch this out to the right a little bit, no matter what. I think I prefer making it a bit wider. And then we can do the fluids in the middle. Although we can't really connect these in a way that I would like. I guess we can always just have them sort of come down here or up here somewhere to connect. We're gonna have uh we're gonna have to have like two belts here that I guess it's fine. Alright, let's just assume that these are going to have to be stack inserters. Uh, these are definitely not. It'll look a little bit weird if we've got blues here and stacks here, but I guess it's fine. Oh, we also need to worry about the filters. Uh... I can't filter a long arm inserter. How fast does this need input? One... At uh, 3.6 per second. I think we're going to have to do some, like, belt weaving or something. Okay. This is uh, turning out to be more complicated than I expected. Oh yeah, and if we bump... If we separate these here, it means we would need more beacons, so I don't really want to do that. It also would mess up the consistency from this. Okay. 
So let's just say... That can stay there, actually. And on the other side... Oh, you can't flip this. And outputs are going to need filter inserters. Uh, for core fragment. I could just do a belt weave. It's going to be more than fast enough. Yeah, I'm never going to be, like, running an upgrade planner over this. So that should be fine. Or fragment goes here. Oh. And then red belt is probably overkill for this part. It definitely is. It's fine. All right, let's copy that to the other side. And then I hadn't really thought about what I was going to do with all the other resources um, besides uranium. Okay, so we need some filter inserters on this side for... I think I'll just use a blacklist for this one. This part, at least, is definitely not going to need more than one belt. Would that be okay? I don't think it would look okay. No, I think two belts is just going to be better. Yeah, that's definitely going to look neater. Okay. Substations in the middle aren't really that helpful. That doesn't quite reach. Why is the wiring like this? That's... that's bizarre. Mm, whatever. I can't actually fit the substation here properly. I could move this up a bit. Yeah, that's as neat as it's gonna get. Except for this part. Okay. So we're sending down two half belts. Let's merge them. need to deal with that. Uh, 
Alright, first things first. This goes in here. And then we get our stone, uranium, and core fragments. And then we get our core fragments and get all of this. And have I opened up some options for fluids? Maybe. Could definitely do an underground there and do this a little bit better. Let's say we have some fluid storage over to the left here. If water goes here and oil goes here, and water connects like so. I don't love that, but it'll do the job. Maybe it would be a lot cleaner if I just connect it down this way. Yeah, I think that's going to be a lot better. Doesn't need to go that way. Get rid of this. Not that part. Get rid of this nonsense. And then... Uh, heavy oil needs to go here. Did I say heavy oil? I meant crude oil, of course. Alright. Have I run out of tanks? Calm down, bots. Alright, let's see if I have any tanks left over. I'm not seeing any. Where did the last of them go? I would have thought I would have noticed a build not quite being complete earlier. But that one looks finished. And so does that one. It's kind of odd. How many tanks do we actually have? 96 plus... Uh, 54. That is exactly 150. And over here we see we are requesting 100, and I was carrying 50. Okay. That, that's pretty unlikely, but it did happen. Um, I guess I'll make some tanks. About 100k for each. Got a hundred K for each.
That should buy us some time for now anyway. Should I do a train network on this planet? It's going to involve a lot of bridges. I don't see why not, though. Consider the alternatives. Okay, nine. I didn't mean to make nine. Okay, so if I put this here... I could do it like so. Uh, I don't... Okay, that could work. Except this would have to line up somehow. Let's do this maybe? Dots on. I saw some red dots. Uh-oh. Where did you see red dots? I don't see any. Were they on the middle island, or...? West-northwest. Oh, was it Vulcanite, maybe? Yeah, I think we might be... Okay. Did that cover it? Looked bright red. Yeah, it really does. Especially mixed in with... Oh. Well, that's... That's not Vulcanite. What's... Where was it? Oh, it's a single worm. Well, aren't you lucky? You... You may stay. Yeah, that one. Fair enough. Okay. Goes here. And that's our infinite crude. Red dot was real? Yes, it was. Okay, so now we have to deal with... Uh, six different inputs. Should we copy what we did on Nalvis? If we're going to do a rail system, it makes a lot of sense. Alternatively, we could make six different train stations. That seems excessive. But then we don't have to worry about circuitry or anything messing up. Considering that we'll be away from here for an extended period of time. And there's not going to be that much going on on this planet. And we don't really need to necessarily use trains anyway. I haven't actually investigated this uh, Vitae melange. Um, maybe I should try to figure out how to uh, how to mine it. What? Okay. Is this something that I can mine? Directly? It is. Let's have a look. Nugget. Spice. Um, 
We can get it from core fragments, obviously, on a different type of planet. Or I guess this means we can mine it. But what is it used for? We can do it delivery cannon capsule of this directly. Actually, that's probably a good way to deal with things at this planet. Instead of worrying about uh, too much about how we're going to deal with the excess resources here, we can send them all back to um, Nalvis. And if we have to scale up our uh, item destruction system on Nalvis, then so be it. It's also, like I said, a complicated system that if it needs maintenance, we're much more likely to be able to deal with it. Spice of Life is a cute pun. Biotech, I believe. Okay, let's have a look. So we could send it back as uh, this by itself. I'm guessing that might not be as uh, storage efficient. What are the processes this goes into? Do, is it only turned into nuggets? Chemical fuel value. Interesting. We can turn it into... 110 megajoules of fuel becomes 2.2. Oh, times 50. Isn't that the same amount? Yeah. So what does roast turn into, I wonder? Nuggets plus a vitalic acid plus cosmic water becomes bio sludge. Okay. Roast is... becomes spice. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, uh, assuming that we are allowed to send it back as nuggets, we can send it back as spice or as vitamelange itself. I think I would, for one thing, I don't know the production chain to get it to spice just yet, but more importantly, um, oh, what was I looking at? Cannon. Uh, Vita Melange can be turned into any Vita Melange product, and Spice, I'm guessing, is either a dead end or there's just fewer options, right? Oh, it roast turns into that. Okay. So... Is that the whole chain? Vita Melange turns into Nugget, turns into Roast, turns into Spice? Or is there something else? Oh, Nugget can turn into Bio Sludge. There it is. Okay, so I may want that. So I should send it as Raw Vita Melange, right? Tell Vitamalange it didn't do its homework and none of its chores. That's how you roast. Uh, I guess it does not hurt to farm it and store it, but I don't think you can use it for a while. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, speaking of cannons, I'm thinking 
what if we just send all of this back? Um, we, we can flash all of the water to steam to get rid of it. We can turn, uh, turn the crude oil into fuel. And if absolutely necessary, we can build a machine to waste it. Um, probably not necessary. Uh, Sari, we just need to prioritize consumption of this crude oil over wherever else we're getting it from. Um, is there anything we're going to need rockets? Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Hold on. We can send the core fragments back just as core fragments. That's going to make it much easier to deal with, actually. A hey, Imo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was dreaming of this. Would a mixed ore LTN unload station be possible? Yeah, definitely where you filter out the ores and store them. So from each storage, you can read how much ore you need. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Um, for throughput reasons, I would probably recommend unloading from the initial station unconditionally and then having something like a row of, a diagonal row of splitters to decide where the other resources go. Um, actually, it's doing the same thing as the output for the Omni smelters. Um, so, oh. Speaking of which, apparently either there's a wire not connected here somewhere, or these ones are working. Oh, that's... Wait, what? I forgot that I'd made a fourth one of these as well. Beryllium, Holmium, and Iridium would be useful to make things cheaper at this point. You can save a lot. Interesting. Um, I had, an, I had a condition here somewhere whereby... Where is it? We're currently not trying to make copper, right? No, we are trying to make copper. I think a wire got missed or something. If copper plate greater than 112k output copper plate, it's not outputting. 112k, it's not full. What? Oh, I think... Wait, what? So these chests in particular are full. And why are these ones not... Inserting? Copper plate divided by negative 24 output copper plate. 4.5k is apparently the average. How can... Oh, there's steel in there somehow. Well, that would do... How is this happening? I... I mean... I know... I think I know how a bit of stone got in this chest, but... How on earth do we have one steel in here... One steel in here. Let's trace the belts back a bit. I think it might have something to do with the order in which these belts were made, maybe? That's really weird. Okay, well, we know it's not 
the circuit condition that's messing that up, really. Um, but to our point about a shared resource drop-off, um, imagine the train station is up here. In order to have high throughput, you have belts going to splitters like this, go to the different storages, and make sure you're reading what's in the storages to decide whether you request a train for that resource to come to that station. A glitch in the matrix? Yeah, maybe a bit got flipped. A hey, Velda? Uh, well, Veldak also. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, as for... Let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure all of these resources... I was going to say all of these resources can be sent by cannon, but no, I should send this stuff via cannon, right? The density is probably a lot higher that way. Um... For one thing, it becomes more core fragments. Oh, 16 becomes 5. That's not true. What if we send regular core fragment, uranium, and stone instead of uranium core fragments? Um, I think we need a large number to get it to be a stack size that's divisible by 16. 100's not going to do it. 150, I'm pretty sure, doesn't work. What's the lowest common denominator of 16 and 50? Whatever the case. Um, 16 of these turns into 5, 2, and 1. Uh, as Trez, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No Vita Melange core fragments? No, we've only got finite uh, Vitae on this planet. My reasoning was that more ore trains can stop at the main station. Hello, Aztrez. Instead of 400... Oh, okay. I guess it's, what, 16 times 50? That's 800. Um, yeah, no, that's 400 over 16. Okay, cool. Except we're dealing with different stack sizes as well. Um, so 25 stacks turns into 10 stacks of core fragments. Um, 25 times 2 uranium is half a stack of uranium and a quarter of a stack of stone. So 10.75 stacks instead of 8 stacks. So it's less efficient. If I got that right. So we should send... We, sh we should use cannons to send core fragment uranium ore instead of any of its products. And that's without taking into consideration productivity modules. Okay, so we should get rid of all of this and deal with it on Nalvis. That makes it a bit simpler, to say the least. Oh, except I wanted to... Let's maybe not get ahead of ourselves too much. Um, I will put cannons up here to send this stuff back home. But I was wondering if we could run a nuclear plant indefinitely off of this. Or should we just spam more solar? We've actually already got enough solar to do this, but for one thing, more power means more core mining. For another thing, we don't yet have 
a sufficient number of media defense installations to make sure this is protected. For another other thing, we would like to get infinite basic resources out of this in order to resupply ammo and bots and stuff. Go nuclear? Yes, indeed. Max, did you kill every single biter on the planet or just your island? Uh, every biter on the planet, I'm pretty sure. We did leave a worm up here by mistake, but that's okay. Worms don't reproduce more biters. Hissing walnuts? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's genocide? Kind of. I mean... If your house has an infestation of spiders, it's kind of the same thing, right? Um, famous last words? Oh no. Wait, what were the famous last words? I'm scared. It's Factorio, nothing's genocide in the way of exp Oh no. Um, so I've got kind of a complicated chain of stuff to figure out here. Did I not bring... I don't think I brought one important ingredient for this planet in particular, and that is centrifuges. And they are kind of expensive. I could easily make ten of them. I brought the concrete for it. Um, I don't know where my red circuits have gone. Here, here's a few. Let's get some of this out of my inventory for now. Centrifuge. Yeah, I definitely should have brought probably quite a few centrifuges. If I'm going to kill half of the planet's wildlife just to make myself some more... Steel production? You bet I'm doing it with style. Okay. I should bring a recycling machine next time I'm going to land on a planet without a landing pad as well. Only need like one Coverex centrifuge to power like 10 reactors? Is that true? If we're making, let's ignore the productivity modules and speed modules. Um, if we're making one uranium-235 per minute, that's one uranium fuel cell per minute. How long does it take to burn through one of these? Um, assuming we have no fuel management, which we do. Tesla gun is my weapon of choice. Is that the rail gun or is it different? 10 fuel cells per 235. Oh. Okay. And do we know the exact rate? I might have to look it up. Um. Do we know the exact rate? Duration, 8 gigajoules of fuel. We also need to deal with the spent fuel cells. Uh, but that's not too difficult. Constant consumption, 40 megawatts. Okay, we can calculate it. 8 gigajoules. Um... 8 giga divided by 40 mega, isn't it like a thousand divided by 40? 200, is it 200 seconds? 1, 2, 35 pieces worth 80 gigajoules. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, oh, there's so much math to do here. If we're using power to get more core fragments, it's math on math upon math upon math. Plus 
plenty of layers to make mistakes. The stream storage is a... The steam storage is a buffer, yes. So the reactors can pause production if needed. Yeah, um, I kind of messed up here. I did test this in um, the sandbox and confirmed that if you have fuel in each of these uh, chests and then they all put their fuel in for the first time at the same time, um, it'll actually stop a little bit short of wasting any steam even if this isn't connected to anything else. Um, but yeah, basically the steam storage because the steam will keep its temperature indefinitely, and what the steam turbines run on is steam. Um, and we've got a little bit of solar power just to make sure we're not slowly bleeding the steam out forever. Just enough for the roboports and stuff, uh, inserters. Um, there's also energy stored in the heat pipes as well but you can't measure the heat pipes what you can measure is the contents of a storage tank or an accumulator for that matter um, and obviously with the storage tanks in the middle we're only adding one more container to each of these so it's really not that much uh, fluid dynamics added to the system because Steam in Factorio doesn't lose heat over time. Yes, that's correct. And the same applies to heat pipes. Um, so if you... If you have this thing set up, not connected to anything else, and there's fuel in all of these, and the inserters will put in... I think, I think they'll put in five uranium fuel cells. So actually, we did do about the same thing. Um, this will all heat up to the point where, uh, it doesn't quite fill all of these with steam, and I think also the fact that you don't reach, like, 990 degrees on these heat pipes means we didn't waste any energy. Yeah, no, now I remember. We actually haven't wasted any energy, because otherwise all of the heat pipes would be at a thousand degrees. Missing accumulators? Yes. Looks very slick, thank you. Okay. Anyway, um... So now that I think about it, it sounds like... Well, now that you mentioned that, it sounds like it might be a lot easier to get enough uranium for this to run itself than I thought. Uh, but we are going to need storage and consumption of all these other resources. Since we're not doing train stations, at least not yet, why don't we do it like this? Um, what would a substation fit? If I do it like this, how many rows of chests can we do here? That's not too bad. How about... Fifteen chests each? Make it eight times three. each resource. That's the same as the, uh, that's the same 24 chests as we're used to with the train station. We're gonna need filter inserters. And which resource should come first? Don't think it matters. Let's do this on this side. 
And we'll start with iron, as we often do. And a bit of wire. Read belt contents hold. Iron ore equals zero. Probably should have decided what to put up here first. Let's make that copper. Oh, I kind of need to do like. Iron ore and copper ore equals zero here. Hmm. There's no way to smuggle that logic in with just a wire. Combine that with beacons and gets even more ridiculous with two productivity, three modules. A single cover centrif centrifuge comes out to a whopping 30 reactors? Really? Well... Not too worried now. We will have to deal with the ore itself as well, but that's fine. Um, I wish there was a bit more that you could do with no combinators. I could always just sushi this. That's pretty easy, actually. But I don't know if I've left room to do that. I might have to move it back a bit. Inventory is going to end up too full. What's going on on Nalvis? Nothing much, it looks like. Alright, cool. Splitter. Merger, rather. That goes here. We need to input priority from the sushi belt. So we got iron, copper, stone... Coal. Wait, coal does come out of this, right? Yeah. Iron, copper, stone, coal, uh, uranium, and red stuff. Uranium. And Vulcanite. And then it's going to have to go all the way back here. That's not great. Where's the middle? Oh, there's six of them. Derp. One, two, three, four. And then this goes here. That doesn't line up very well. Oh well, what can you do? Or a sushi belt? Yeah. Because I was going to set it up so that uh, with a circuit condition, hold on a sec, I was going to set it up so that all of the iron stops here, but I can't do all of the iron and all of the copper stops here without a combinator. So we're just going to have it go around in circles, prioritize uh, input from this end. There should be way more than enough um, 
inserters to grab all of each resource anyway. Coal inserters, yes indeed. Jay Brooks, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, that's a lot of storage. I could add some balanced loaders for each type. Um, now that I look at it, I don't know where we're going to fit output unless I maybe get rid of a row of this going to eventually upgrade to stack inserters um I could do that yeah but since we've got eight of each inserter uh, I don't think that's gonna be necessary at this point maybe at the exit Storing as ore is inefficient anyhow, may as well smelt on site. Uh, yeah, but the main thing is we need all of this stuff to get out of the way of each other. Um, that requires storage, no matter how you do it. So this is a pretty compact way to do that. And we can deal with actually consuming it a bit further down the line. Also, so this would be 14 core fragments a second. This is half of that. It might be tricky to scale this up all that much on this small planet. I'll have to use some cliff explosives somewhere else later on. Okay, so let's suppose this is our... Iron ore output. Um, I kind of need to do it like this, but the substations in the way is this is as close as it can get. I could split these up a bit and use medium poles. I don't love that. Uh, if I do this, everything gets stuck right here. I really wish you could get the like super substations earlier in the game. I think I'll just do medium poles for this one. So that's going to be moving all of this down. Well, quite a bit actually. Uh, let's remove this for now. But instead of this, let's turn off Roboport, but move down one. And then it's going to be really hard to see what I want to do here, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this right? We're going to find out. I guess I will have to wait for the bots, actually. I guess I could have copy-pasted, done some... messed around with some ghosts over here or something. One way to do it. If we're going to do it like this, we may as well do it in sets of six. And we can still do our 24 chests for each resource. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Can that fit over here instead? Uh, it was six different resources, right? Yeah. 
So three on each side, so we don't need this. That was easier to patch than I expected. Okay, so this goes here. Where's the middle? Oh, is this the middle? Damn it, that's almost perfect. Oh, it is actually perfect. Except that this part has to jot out a bit more. Would have a two and two then combined on the other side of the substation have worked? Two and two. Oh, you mean like a gap of two down here? Yeah, maybe. This is fine, I guess. It does make it a bit clearer, the gaps between... Uh, we're gonna have to have, like, just one extra medium pole back this way. That's a little bit upsetting. At least we've got room now for some balanced loaders. That doesn't look so bad, actually. Can I connect these here? Seems good. I don't think I brought any more medium poles, did I? Yeah, I don't see any. Who uses medium poles? This guy. How many are missing? More than six. I need some iron, copper, and steel. Uh, I could make a furnace right here. Got some coal. You need energy pylons? Yeah, definitely. The chests would just act as a good buffer for now. Yeah. The point is not to block the output with uh, one resource or another. What? Okay. And then I'm be gone. And then copper be gone. And then I can make a whole four of these. I thought I could make six earlier. What happened to that? What are you building? Um, we're doing some core mining on this planet. And when you do core mining, you've got a set ratio of different resources that you have to deal with as outputs. Um, there's different ways to go about that, but no matter how you do it, whether you put them all in the same belt or completely different belts, you're going to need storage for each resource, and if any of those storages get backed up all the way back to the machine, uh, everything is going to stop. Come on, Cryogun. Yeah, Cryogun is getting there. Little by little. Okay, so let's get some of this out of our inventory for now. And I need some iron plate, copper plate. And then I can get a few more medium poles. Yeah, I mean, you could do this with direct pickup from trains, you could do it with bots, you can do it with a shared belt going into storage like so. You could have six different belts coming from each machine, uh, but no matter how you go about it, it all 
becomes the same problem. If you run out of storage for any given resource, it's going to back up all the way up to the machine and the whole thing is going to stop. Um, okay. So that should get us started at least. Oh, I wanted to do some balanced loaders for these ones. Um, to do that... Let's see. Ooh! Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say I have a way to do it universally, but then I realized they would just pick up any resource to start with. Alright, let's add a arithmetic. I'm gonna need a lot of wire, so let's cheat just a little bit. Uh, Vinyl Star, thank you very much for the Prime Sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. There is one solution. Uh, what solution is that? Some people use orbital weapons hooked up to logic to destroy the backed up resources. Yeah, I am doing that already, actually, hissing walnuts. Because... Uh... On Nalvis, we got to the point where almost all of our iron was coming from core mining. Nope. Nope. But, uh... We got too full on, like, stone and copper. So, that's why we are very selectively destroying resources over here, which right now includes iron, weirdly enough. Uh, yeah, the bots put all of these resources into these chests uh, until they're full. Once the bots stop moving, we detect that with the circuit network um, by saying... Uh, I think these are the defaults, X, Y, Z, T, read robot statistics, uh, X minus Y equals logistic bot, so how many logistic bots are in flight, available minus total, or it, yeah, I think it spits out a negative number, yeah, if there's bots in flight, this spits out a negative number, and then we do the same thing for construction bots. And uh, if everything equals zero, then and only then it's time to insert the delivery cannon capsules into these uh, delivery cannons. You can also turn iron into steel, steel into barrels, and barrels into scrap. Scrap can be turned into copper, iron, or stone. Interesting. Although it only deals with iron. I never thought of that. I'd rather do right-hand drive than destroy resources. Except... We can't create more resources. If we don't... If we let this back up. It's not like we're throwing away avocados because they won't sell for a decent price. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do a balance loader here. So each divided by six, because there's six inserters, output each, make it negative six, get the negative average of all of this. We need to check the contents of all of these chests, and also... Um, read hand contents hold because we don't want that amount to flicker when the inserters are doing their thing. Um, and then we do the red wire which would normally just go to this chest but it's gonna go all the way across here And then connect all of these like so. Uh, red wire goes to here. 
condition is not set filters, not this time. Uh, I think everything less than or equal to zero. Zero is going to be the average because we're reading what's actually in this chest or set of chests. And that's a, that comes through as a positive number from read contents. And then we compare that to the negative average. Uh, when we put those two wires together, it implicitly does addition and subtraction. So if we're at zero, we're at exactly average. If we've got greater than zero, we're above average. So we don't want to pick anything up right now. And that's going to be that. And then I kind of want to copy it over here, but it'll get rid of those filters, but that's okay. It'll be easier to replace the filters than... Well, actually, we could do it like this. And then flip it around. Oh, I forgot to... Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. I thought I made a mistake there, but actually it worked out. Um, copying these inserters with just the filter set over these ones with the enable-disable condition, uh, it actually kept both. That works out very well indeed. Couldn't have planned it better myself. Okay. So let's just double check this. Um, obviously all of these are set the same. These are all set to their own specific filter. Enable disable is everything less than or equal to zero. Uh, which returns true if there are no inputs. So probably less than zero would have exactly the same effect. Just because of how everything works. Um, but yeah, that should be it. Balanced loader for each resource. And then... Uh, I guess we'll use stack inserters for this. We were going to do that anyway. That's backwards. That's a little unfortunate. And that'll be that. Oh, minor detail. Looks like our balanced loader is working, except that we're missing some fast inserters. How many do we actually need here? 38? We can do that. And one more. Maybe I should add a display to get an idea of how much we've got of each resource. But there's sort of a implicit display in this anyway. Right blue belts are not mirrored. Not mirrored. What do you mean by that? Oh, that looks okay. Did you mean the side of the belt, or...? Hmm. 
there is a reason that this one is up here and this one is down here. Compare left to right. D do you mean these? Because they're not meant to be mirrored, they're meant to be rotated. To make sure we get uh, three inserters putting onto each side. No worries. Uh, we're going to need a electric boiler. I think I'll just delete the water directly instead of storing any of it. So we can put that anywhere we like, really. This looks pretty convenient. Zero times steam. Now it's just going to delete any water that we make. And now we only have to worry about getting rid of a tiny amount of crude oil. Okay. So the main thing we came here for, uranium. It's actually looking pretty good. It's like the same amount as everything else. Except for vulcanite. Yeah, we're getting as much uranium as iron. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, cryo gun is finished. So now we need beryllium so that we can make ammo. Cool. We could research rocket survivability. I'm more interested in survivability than reusability. Definitely. Oh, it only costs eight of these? That's nothing. Let's bump this up a bit more. That's the fastest research I've seen in ages. Um. Oh, it stopped. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Just waiting on Atomic Insight, uh, Astronomic Insights rather, Catalogs, okay. Alright, what's next? Um, I would really like to get CoverX going as quickly as possible. We're going to need some more centrifuges just to make the regular uranium first. Uh, small electric motors. I definitely didn't bring those. So we need iron. I might have to set up some smelters already. Okay, it's not that bad just yet. Concrete. Inventory full. Oh, bots. Stop. No, bad bots. How dare you. Okay. Uh, this can go in the trash for the moment. Still putting things in the trash. Okay. Concrete. Centrifuge. Concrete. Concrete. Uh, iron. I think I've run out. Small electric requires copper, actually. Alright. You put these playthroughs on YouTube? Uh, I've started to. Um... Anything that I haven't posted to YouTube yet, uh, you can find on Twitch, on the VODs, but I wasn't putting this on YouTube from the beginning, so it only goes back to, I think it's part 46 or something. Or send a new rocket. 
or send a new rocket. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Ex I was going to say, except I have no landing pad, but, but that's false. Um, the rocket is nowhere near loaded yet because we're asking for flat solar panels that we can't provide. Okay. Centrifuge. If these are doing uranium processing with productivities and speed. Substation. Our rate would be... It would consume 3.6... Three and two thirds uranium per second versus 3.7. We actually don't need that much. So one more of these actually would be sufficient for the build we've got now. Let's just double check. Yeah, that'll do it easily. How many do I have? One more centrifuge? Okay, and then what if we direct inserted to cover X? Would that be okay? Or is that folly? I've never built such a small cover X operation before. Let's think about this. There's no way to make this symmetrical. This is a bad idea? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um... If we input Uranium-238 directly into CoverX, it's going to end up not having room for the output unless we do some circuit stuff, which should be fine. How do I fit it all together under one beacon? Pretty easily, actually. Hey man, what mod do you use to move already placed buildings? Uh, Lord of the Foo. It is called Picker Dollies. And what you do um, is just, well, default keys anyway, I think. Um, point at a building or something, hold shift, and press the arrow keys. And there's also a bind to rotate long inserters in a way that you can't with vanilla. Um, the nice thing about it as well is that it does preserve wire connections and settings and such. Uh, it won't let you stretch things further than they are supposed to go. And yeah, it's quite good. It's a very good mod, I think. It's also really good for um, if you've got a circuit that you've taken from somewhere that you are trying to understand. Let's say you throw down this creation of mine and just... But to be fair, it's been tidied up a little bit, but let's suppose you have no idea what this is. Um... You can start moving this around like so, so you can see better what's going on after all of this has been crammed together to be a bit more compact. Much easier to try and figure this out if you can see exactly where the wires are going all the time, and also once you sort of figure out 
you know, conceptualize this. I think it, this thing starts with a pulse generator. So once you've understood that bit, you put that together and you think, okay, that's a pulse generator. Not going to worry about that anymore. It's quite good. OMG, that's cool. Yes, it is. What was the rotate key? I don't remember because I changed it. Um, I think it was full stop, but full stop, if you use the uh, editor and you are playing with the game speed, uh, full stop is the key to step forward one tick. Um, and so because they were the same, I wasn't able to do that. So I changed it to like numpad dot. Numpad dot? No, I, th I think I had to change it to numpad dot. I could be wrong. Maybe it was the default and then I used regular dot and then ran into that problem. It's possible. Okay, um... It would be really convenient right now to have those inserters that can put things onto a specific side of the belt. But since we don't have that... Um, I guess we can do it this way. Let's do 238 on this side. What the? 238 on this side because the belt is longer. And then... Oh, I forgot. It's a good idea to have a lot of storage. Especially when you're just getting started with this. For 238. Um... Because you need this to keep producing with its small chance of making 235. Shouldn't have deleted the inserters though. There we go. We'll give them each a chest. And... I guess that can go there. Excuse me. And that's going to be 235. No need to store that. Um, input. And I think what we'll do here... We're going to need two chests for this. Oh, actually. I was going to say no, we're not. But, yeah, yeah, I have an idea, actually. Let me just grab one of these real quick. And make some room. ammo up here while we're at it. Still need a source of 238 to convert to 235, yeah. That's why you need the storage. Especially when you're getting started, anyway. Um... Did I pick that up? I think I did. Where is it? Uh, go. Huh. 
huh? I could have sworn I picked up a cargo pod. Did I not? I don't see the crisscross. I didn't mark it for not deconstruction. Zero. So it should be in my trash slots. Oh, is it on the ground? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Gotcha. You did? Yes, indeed. Okay. Now where is it gone? Here it is. Alright, I have a plan. Cargo pod. Filter and soda. 238. And... What we're gonna do is... We can't connect to this directly, but uh, if I do it this way, I have to use a filter and soda. That's fine, I guess. Oh, it doesn't have to be a filter and soda. It just has to only pick up from the 238. So I wonder if I, since I can't connect directly to the cargo pod, if I set this to, oh, actually, instead of that, okay, we're going to read hand contents from both of these, hold. And if either of these inserters are doing their thing, this one will not. So we're going to prioritize this 238. And then... And then that's our 235, right? And then I need to make... Um, Uranium fuel cell. We need. We actually do need uranium two thirty eight as well. We could just put the assembly machine for that right here. If I move this over a bit, that doesn't work. There's nowhere I can put this where we can just direct insert from. Oh, yes there is. And then... This one. Um, we have to make sure we deprioritize this over cover X though. I guess I could do a... That's going to be ugly. Can we do it better than that? I used cars before. Interesting. You can use train wagons as well. Yeah. We could actually read the contents of a train wagon if we did it that way. As long as we're willing to put down a locomotive and a station. Um, okay, fine. Let's do it this way. What if we say that part of the belt has to be full? equals four before we pick up any here. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, this is only going to output two at a time. 
And this is going to pick it up just as fast. That should do it. What a gloriously hideous creation. 1.25 of this per second. Um, I think... I could put down an industrial furnace. I already have some. It's kind of overkill, but we can put more productivity modules in it that way. Then again, iron here is almost like a nuisance product. Not really, but let's grab a furnace. And then slam it down like so. Oh, we could maybe use the vulcanite blocks. There's like two more steps I have to take before I turn these into vulcanite blocks, but I'll probably do that. Yeah, there's a few reasons that I might do that. For one thing, it's more compact to send back to Nalvis. Uh, for another thing, if I really need to get rid of it, I can turn it into rocket fuel. I just have my fuel cell maker booked up to only take when there's more than 40, 235 available from the storage chest. Yeah, I was going to do something like that, but I don't know. I, I sort of wanted to see how minimal I could go this time. Okay. Looks like we're having some power problems. Well, there goes all that steam. I wasn't expecting that to happen so quickly. Oh, that's not good. That means our... Yeah, if the media defense installations lose power, they have to recharge. They actually slowly lose charge. Interesting. So, biters could appear right now. You better watch out. Um, I think it would be wise for now to remove most of these core mining drills. If not all of them. I could put a power switch on this. Uh, might be a good idea. Yeah. That sounds bad. It's not happening on this planet. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's just a bit of wall attack. Um, let me just throw these down here for now. Much more compact storage. Taking up zero space in my inventory. Oh, that's... I forgot, even if they're not powered, um, they'll reduce the efficiency. Okay. Uh, let's add a medium pole here. Let's give my bots somewhere to go. Let's remove all this stone. Uh, I was going to put it over there, but it's too late for that. Bots don't even think about it. Uh, four drills go here. Okay. Power switch. Where are my power switches? Oh, there we go. And I'll connect the 
accumulator from here. And I could do a latch for this. I was going to say, but I'm going to be lazy, but no, I'm not going to be that lazy. A latch is really quite easy. So what you do is uh, the end point is a combinator with its output linked to its input. This is a memory cell. Uh, it's going to be decider with the condition green greater than red. Output one green. So if it's got no inputs and it has received a green input before, let's put this where it's going to have power. Oh, there's a rock in the way. Uh, if it receives a green signal input and then we get rid of that, it's going to hold on to it. And then if it receives a red signal, but not a green signal, uh, like so, then it's gone. And then all you do is set up a couple more deciders. So if accumulator charge is above or below a certain amount, in this case, let's say 90%. Uh, if it drops below 90%, switch off. If it gets back up to 100%, switch on. And these two have to be, or should be, mutually exclu uh, exclusive. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much point in the just uh in the latch and that does not go there that goes there actually all right so green greater than zero which is not the case right now so we're not powering this thing our power still really sucks though Wait, why is there a... Oh. Never mind. I think it's just because it's night time and we lost all of our power and we're trying to recharge the mining drills. Yeah, it's the middle of the night. It's night time? Yes, indeed. So let's keep an eye on whether we have any meteors coming down. Oh. Zero out of two meteors destroyed. Zero shots fired. It already happened. Uh, it landed in the water, but can that make biters or not? It looks like the answer is no. Surely they won't just spawn at a random place. Fish biters, aka piranhas. Yeah. Play some Subnautica for that. Okay. Power is crawling back up, and we're stopping on the nice number, and then it's going to climb back up. Well, cool. Ida mutalisks that attack your space platforms when? Oh no. No thank you. One of my favorite things about the orbital platforms is you don't have to worry about biters. Biter mutalisks. Uh, I want water biters in vanilla. Oh no. Right. So. 
power is creeping back up. Once these things are charged, it shouldn't take too long to charge the accumulators. Spiders in real life. Oh no. It's accelerating, but it's still taking its sweet time. Eighty-four. 85, 86, 87. Alright, I want to see how quickly the accumulators are going to charge once this hits 100. And pretty quickly, actually. Alright, cool. That means we do have quite the abundance of power, as long as we're not trying to run ore mining drills all the time. Probably could put down a few more of them. I should have set up the power switch in a better position. Uh, we can still fix that. Let's do another power pole down here. Disconnect this one. And this one. Power switch. Should probably turn my bots back on. And then that goes there, that goes there. This goes here, and I'm going to have to disconnect this from this, and then it might end up being more efficient to use fewer miners, but for now we'll try eight and see how it goes. I'm surprised I was able to pick up all of them. Get in my inventory, please. Oh, you can't. That's why I was able to pick them up. And then... Wire from here to here to here to here. Accumulator charge is 100. Oh, I need a condition on this again. And there we go. And it immediately switches off in the middle of the day. Yeah, it's going to be way more efficient to one run of the to run one of these for now. And once this reaches a hundred, it's decreasing, but it looks like very, very slowly. That should be fine. In fact, it doesn't seem to be decreased. Oh, there it is, 98%. Fantastic. I bought a crossbow, and then I was disappointed COVID doesn't turn people into zombies. Oh no. Alright, let's do a little save with our butts hanging over our heads. And find someone to raid for today. We got Mucky. Uh, King Fnub raided me, didn't he? Thanks again, King Fnub. You know what? I think it's been a minute since I raided Mucky. Let's go.
thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints or the Discord if you're interested. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means let me know. And thanks for watching, do take care. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. Take care, Zavoxifol. And everyone else. Alright, off we go. It's seven in the morning here in the east coast of the United States.